asking. Show me a better way. Promise I'll quit, quit this game. This much I know is true. true. I, I came, came up and sold to you and fucked the boys in blue. Fuck them all. <laughs> For 12, for 12. For 12, for 12. I'll be calling to. Oh, oh my god. That is my jam. <laughs> oh god. That, that is my jam. That, that is like, that has to be the best country song. <laughs> that, you can, that you can recall. 2020, you know what I mean? Yeah, like that part. People keep hitting us with stuff that we didn't know. Like when Skin Bone came out with the um the Thousand Mile Remix, I don't know if you ever heard. That oh one my God, that. that's hilarious! When, when he was like, "Black and Cat, that black and Cat, when I shoot you in your neck, you gonna, gonna go black and Cat, <laughs> you know I shoot you in your eye just so I can hear the black and <laughs> Oh my God. He was uh, into it. It was entertaining. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, yeah. That song, RMR Rascal, is more contagious than the coronavirus. Oh, you <laughs> stupid. I don't care what nobody say. Mm-hmm. You know what I've been noticing about the coronavirus, right? Mm. People have been buying up stuff that they normally don't use, right? Mm-hmm. Or should use. Mm. <laughs> yeah. There's a combination that part. of both. Because mm-hmm. people buying up toilet paper. No one ain't wiped their ass. <laughs> Three weeks. Like talking about mm-hmm. fighting forever. They've been using their drawers Mm-mm. to wipe their ass. Disgusting. But it's like, so you see them buying up the toilet paper and they buying up water, right? Right. So none of these people got babies because the diapers ain't moving. No way. <laughs> they just going to hold you them know? down, you know what I'm saying, and but then always, pat them dry. But always, you know, you know I, ain't, I ain't nobody buying them, no diapers. Mm-hmm. I ain't seen nobody buying them. Feminine products, all that stuff is still on the shelf. This so is you, true. So you talking about y'all going, y'all going, I understand the water. Y'all mm-hmm. going to be able to drink, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And most of y'all buying up water because y'all ain't paid the water bill. I I'm, understand that. I'm weak. So y'all ain't got no heat to boil the water try to, you know what I'm saying? Get that out part. Here, you know, so I get that. But it's like, okay, so you need to drink water. I can dig that. See, my thing is, why water? Like, it's not like we're getting shut in, like buttered in. Yeah, I think people miss, um, they screw up like what you do in preparation for a storm to prepare for the coronavirus. And I guess they hear quarantine like, oh, I can't leave. But I'm like, is your house like that low that you have to buy up the store when it comes to toilet paper? Or is it just kind of like a, you've already been on the buy as needed type situation. So now we're stocking up for purposes. But people good hands. Over some toilet paper. Over toilet paper. It's, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Like, yo, you going to need this toilet paper because I'm going to beat the shit out of you. you know <laughs> that <mean>? part? <laughs> Pun intended. Um, so I'm going to hope you got enough to wipe because you about to catch this. Mm-hmm. You know, we batting off crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, you can throw on that note. Welcome to Film Nuts. Film Nuts. We need a theme song. I know, right? Uh, I got some things in mind. Lord have mercy. I don't think the world is ready for that. The world's never ready. Man, listen. I, look, we, can get, we, can, we can get some Bismarck key going on here. So. <laughs> film nerds, film nerds. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you see? Every, 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 every. Everything can work. It go together. It go together. Oh, man. I can dig it. I mean, um, we may, we may, we may have made it happen, you know? Okay. You can go get a kazoo. A kazoo. You know what? There's a whole Facebook group for people who play the kazoo. Is it called playing or blow, blow the kazoo? Facebook got something for everybody. Yeah, it's it's for everybody. It's a colony of people that sniff magic market. So it's like so. Like that is a thing, which is disturbing. A word. Really? People, many people have lost their brain cells to sniffing. I'm, I'm just checking to see if the um if the camera can pick up everything. I feel oh, like you, it can, and you know that. You realize you get four fingers, four fingers pointing back at you, right? Huh? Okay, so then let me do it right here. <laughs> <laughs> let me get the Michael Jackson thriller going on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, 
he is he, he, he legal right now, you know, so I can't do something to him. Yeah. <laughs> Priorities. Priorities. <laughs> And look, Magic Moth is better than cocaine. So it's like, is it? Is it better than cocaine? I mean, pro- effect-wise, probably not. Probably not. Like, I'm going to go with not. <laughs> as far as not illegal. Yeah, I'm about to say it's far not as pop, illegal. Pop, pop, pop and, <laughs> and Rich Texas, James didn't um, say it was a hell of a drug, so therefore, mm-hmm. cocaine still takes the cake. And I don't slip, co- I don't slip the markers for those who didn't get this car. Yeah, I'm not about that cocaine, though, but okay. <laughs> 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 The booger sugar. <laughs> the white girl. Now, well, that rotten baby. <laughs> I that hate that. That rotten baby. That. Just for the record, the film nurse does not condone any use of Just, legal narcotics of any it kind. It depends on what narcotic it is. You know? No matter how colorfully Devin Roberts makes it sound. <laughs> I'm telling you, that rotten people be on that hair rotten. We, we slumped over sleep. Slump for days. Cannot. But anyways... As always, I'm your host James, joined by my regular, I guess I guess I could call you regular. Semi regular. Yeah. Special guest nevertheless. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so special minus one. Mm. Damn, that's bad he got to talk about you like that. <laughs> you know, I feel isolated <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Good God, man. Mm. But Big Dev and Tina. How y'all doing? Hey, y- y'all already know who it is. Yep. You know, but I'm going to give myself my royal introduction anyway. Royale. It is your boy, Big Dev, uh-huh. a.k.a. the world's biggest dev, a.k.a. the 757's favorite play cousin, yep. a.k.a. Big Dev, who is where, from where? Straight out the group home, baby. Straight out the group Straight home. Out the group home. Your mom hey. will appreciate you saying that you're from. Home, AKA, 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 yeah, Lisa Wright, son. AKA, yeah, there you go. AKA, the, 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 the president of the short bus. President of the short bus, y'all. <laughs> and the driver. The athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Professional rider and now driver, y'all. <laughs> That's how I go. You know, you go from you go from sitting in the back to just just getting behind the wheel and just looking at you. You know, what I mean? you know, I, 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 but I'm a legend on the short bus. I'm the inspiration and the aspiration of everybody that ride that. You're a bus. legend on the short yeah. bus. That's goals, right there. It's a good thing about that. It's a great thing mm-hmm. because you see, I'm the only person that y'all ever know. That that was that was thrown into special education. Thrown? Yeah, I, it, it was. They they they, they kind of they kind of just passed me and pushed me in. Never forget the Mrs. K. She she had asked me. She told me she was tired of my antics from earlier, but I want no class kind of. Though. But right, right, right. She so we <laughs> we got <laughs> we got to this part of the class when she went around the classroom and was asking everybody their favorite color. And I told him my favorite color was clear. So, and ever since, <laughs> ever since short then. Short brush rider for life. <laughs> Ridiculous answers like that. SBR for life. Yep. Sure. <laughs> SBR for life. <laughs> SBR for short life. Short bus game. Short bus baby. Toot toot. <laughs> short bus baby. Not the toot toot. Toot toot. Yeah. Oh, for real. <laughs> Absolutely thrilled. Magic oh, school bus for real. Right on the magic school bus. <laughs> Shout out, Miss Frizzle. Miss Frizzle. I was on some Miss Frizzle stuff recently when my dress had the planets on it. I love that. Mm-hmm. What? Well, today's podcast, we're doing something a little different today. Mm-hmm. Uh, taking a break from all the... Fun film stuff? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and today, we just going to you know, relax a little bit and just you know talk about a little bit about... Ourselves, you know. Mm. Well, well, it all started about thirty years ago. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Oh, oh, now you know the truth. I've been telling the truth. Right, right, right. Now mm. I have not told no lie. But anyway, as so, lightning strikes. <laughs> oh, y'all ain't had to hit the leaner rock. We wasn't trying Everybody to get struck. <laughs> we was trying to. You see how they do? Right? You see how they do your boy? How they do him? Yes. Not that he does this to himself, y'all. Yeah, yes. the truth of the matter is. The, the the movie that James had picked out last week, mm-hmm. it comes at night with so ass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was so ass that, you know, we just had to recover from that. And we just gonna move out. No, 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 no,
We stopped living this back. That was 30 seconds ago. You just said you put a 45 two. seconds ago. <laughs> 57 seconds ago. Come on, Shane. It's right there. Leave it there. Just leave it. Just leave, let it go. It's like it's right there, but the move was so ass that you picked out. You see, you see how they always trying to set me up. Needless to say, yes, it was a trash movie. Trash ass movie, bro. <laughs> Butt cheeks in the garbage can. Trash. Butt ass. cheeks in the garbage can. Oh, so now we get to talk about ourselves. Yes, to in a way to recover from Devin's bad pick. Mm, 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 mm. Such a time is yeah. this. James is what? that first cousin you wish was a third cousin. What does that even mean? So you ain't got to see him all the time because you don't see your third cousins all the what time. Did, what quantifies someone to be first, second, and third? How does that work exactly? Like, I believe your first cousins would be like your parents' children. Oh. And your second, your yeah. second would be Okay. So since he's auntie's son, mm-hmm. shout out to auntie. Since he's auntie's son, mm-hmm. he's, he's just he, he's un, he, he's unholily ordained as the but first. But then, co- like, what would make your second cousin? Then? So that's your my it would be my child. Yeah, that his child would be my second cousin. Oh, so I mean, the child child's. of your cousin is your second cousin. Yeah. Oh. Or like how? So all my mama's cousins are my second cousin. Oh, so then third cousins would be his child. So like, like my mama. Okay, so I got like, shout out Aunt Betty. So okay, my mama is Aunt Betty's niece. Right. Aunt Betty has a daughter named Kelly. Shout out Kelly. Uh-huh. So they they first cousins. So when they had me, uh-huh. Kelly is my second cousin. Gotcha. So but then Kelly has to have offspring. And then her offspring is your third cousin. Yeah. So your cousin's children can still be your cousins. Yes, of course, yeah. Huh. And then their children, they'll still be cousins. So niece and nephews only if your siblings have children. Yeah, but I, I feel like they the, the family tree uh-huh. thing, they got it some kind of funny way where it's like after third cousins, you can like stop adopting people that's like your, your, your nieces and nephews or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. And I'm, when people use the whole twice removed, I'm like, I'm really confused about how that, that works. Because it, the people that came up with twice removed, all of them failed out, bro. So <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> twice removed from what? From bro? what? And like, are they dead? Like, what got them removed? I got questions. We got executioners you in the family. No yeah, no answers. You no gotta, answers. No one has the answers. Two hands to count the five. If really. you have the answers, comment below yeah, uh, what way, quantifies yeah. first, way, second, and third. We need the answers. We need the answers. <laughs> need the answers. Cause Sway doesn't have the answers. Yeah. But oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Family tree. Family tree is an interesting thing. Yeah. It is because especially when you start going down the family tree, you be like, man. Hell, we're having bad fruit. You got, man, we got some terrible branches on this. You got some terrible branches. <laughs> just the whole branch, everything, everything attached to it is just garbage. Just, 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 just throw the whole just tree. Just throw the tree. Like, just hack, just hack at the tree. Like, There's holes been, in it. Damned if I would have been like Hitler's child. Because oh, wow. because the the fruit, the branches, they they just ain't bad. The roots. The roots on that the, one. Yeah. The seed of the tree was bad. So it's and then like, how does that determine? Like when it comes to family, like who is the the trunk of the family, especially when you got marriages and such. Well, I feel like so. Me personally, I feel like okay. So you got like you got trees, right? And then like <laughs> trees, they have fruits, and the fruits fall off and they roll. Uh huh. And they start trees too. So it's like, so you got, that's where you get a family orchard. You know what I mean? So it's like. Dude, the trees have trees. I feel yeah, like you're giving me trees. a very Donald Trump answer right now. That's I didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do this. I didn't do this. I didn't it's like, well, you see this trees, person. right? And then but the small trees makes an archer. Yeah, you see, but that's and... how it works though. Because it's like, so I get married and I have children. And it's like, I have my own tree in, in parallel or in conjunction. Mm-hmm. But the tree that is my mama, mm-hmm. that stems from my grandmama, mm-hmm. which stems from my great grandmama, because I'm always be a part of that tree. Right. But then it's like. So your own tree. Yeah, mm-hmm. but then eventually it's like it's going to be a whole lot of branches. intertwined branches. Yeah, yeah you, you know, know what I mean? So. <clears throat> but some people should have just stopped yeah. like, in the sapling phase. In the sapling? Yeah, some people. You cut off. Yeah, some people just should have just, like, you know. 
And some trees just pull them back. Yeah, yeah they got to pull them back. Yeah. You know I mean, pruning is a part of a healthy tree. It is, yeah. man, because it's like, boy, sometimes I'll be like, man. Is that when people start getting excommunicated? I like that word, even though I don't fully understand what it means. Mm-hmm. Excommunicated. Mm-hmm. Y'all, you cut off. Excommunicated. That that was the original unfriending of Facebook. Right. I unfriended <laughs> it. <laughs> you know, that, that's what that was. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how that translates. So for for all y'all, all y'all young ones that that you know are stupid as hell. Oh my god! And, <laughs> you know the Tide Pod challenges and all that. Yeah, y'all Tide Pod eaters. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah, before before there was a Facebook, we just stopped being friends. That and was it. Like, and it was and, like, usually like a little arm crossing and a pout that went with yeah, it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and, and you would feel but hurt. So so, I can't be my friend no more. Yeah, look right there. <laughs> Oh, that's a threat right there. I'm not your friend no more. It, it, it was a threat. You be like, man, look, listen, either give me a Starburst, I ain't going to be your friend no more. You're like, damn, man. It was decisions. It was like, man, pink Starburst, a friendship. And it's like, yo, that pink Starburst is looking really yummy right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw it, I saw it, dude. Like, but then it'd be just the smallest thing to rekindle the friendship all over again. I mean, that, shout out to Recess. Yeah, that part. It was like, okay, look. It's us against them dodgeball before they cut that out of school. That definitely rekindled a friendship because you need alliances or you're going to get hurt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dodgeball, four square, tetherball. Tetherball. Do they even have that anymore? Nope. They got they got PE. PE, which That's is all they got. organized exercises. Yeah, and then they don't even let you have fun in PE no more. You know what I mean? Well, you, you know, it, it's. It's y'all people, James, that just... Ooh, uh, yeah. all, all y'all... y'all. Okay, so why don't you explain y'all to the people? Okay, so y'all is anybody that acts like James. And okay. it's like, since this podcast has a rating of like 13, I think, at, at maximum, mm-hmm. I can't say certain words because it'll be a violation of my contract, mm-hmm. and then I'll be looking for a new podcast home. <laughs> with that being said... Weak. <laughs> with that being said, <laughs> if you have a podcast... Well, I can say how I feel about this one right here. <laughs> Just how it's boy. Cut the check. Cut the check. But no, nah, but <laughs> but oh, that reminds me, you know, we, we still have that uncensored podcast. Oh, we're facts, gonna... and that's gonna be a trip. Like, I gotta get one of them soundboards so I can get some of DJ Clues bombs so I can just be. <laughs> Yeah, all that drop the, file. The horns, and you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna have a Pikachu button. A Pikachu? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so hit him with the pee. Pikachu, I'm telling you, man. I mean, you're going to have to get him, catch them all and everything yeah, like that. Got to catch them all, especially when y'all talking about, talking about scantily clad, you know, individuals that 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 do anything for $40. That scantily was, clad. That I'm was gonna... the Oxford definition of hoes. Yeah. Well, we know we learned a new word for hoes now. Oh, yeah, scarlet. No, no uh, har- harlot. Uh, harlots. There you go. Yeah, harlots. Harlots. And Jezebels. Yeah, and we're just extending our vocabulary one profane pussy. word at a time. That's <laughs> 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 the short bus. Mm-hmm. I'm, telling, yeah, you, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm the short bus hero. Huh. SBH. Short, short, short bus short, short, hero, man. Short, 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 short I'm telling you, man. Short bus in the group <laughs> home. You know what I'm saying? The general of the group home and the hero of the short bus. It's just like, it's just that's what it is. That's you know? blessing. That's wonderful. It is, man. You know, yeah. You know, James. James is the Duke of government cheese. The Duke. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> government cheese is good though. Said Devin Roberts. Look, uh, look. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to my my great grandma, my boy. I remember she used to get the peanut butter from the um the USDA peanut butter. Mm. Used to come in a big white can. In a can. Yeah, you remember that. Mm. And, and then when you pulled the lid off, the oil from the peanut butter was at the top, so you had to stir it, you know what I'm saying? And that peanut butter was thicker than black woman ass, boy. And you'd be uh-huh. like, you know, but boy, I'm telling you, man. And and that, you see, that peanut butter would test the quality of the bread that was purchased in the house, <laughs> right? Because if you got that knife... And you didn't go smear it and half the bread rolled up with, with the knife that you smeared. You knew you had that Dollar Tree bread. <laughs> you, you ain't you ain't had that. You ain't had that Mary Jane Bakery bread. Mary Jane Bakery bread. Uh, so you know it's real. Like I just remember uh, when um, um, the, the factory was that's down the street. Facts. Oh, yes. you had a, a bread factory down the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Man, listen, we had so many, um, I used to work for one of them. Shout out to Mama Kai's bakery. You still owes me about a couple checks. Because they closed the door. <laughs> a on couple them. checks? Yeah, because they just closed the door on the player, man. Um, like, shh, no, you yeah, can't come like, in we here. We came in one day, and they was like, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, this is it. And we're like, this is it, what? Like, Y'all ain't got no job no more. Oh, okay, straight what, like that? <laughs> what about our money? Yeah, we're going bankrupt, so. We ain't got it? We ain't, so, and, and so the way it goes is like, if he opens up, like if that business was to open back up, mm-hmm. then you have to, then he would have to pay us. Right, but, but that if you're ain't. Smart, yeah, you ain't gonna open up no. Nah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just out. I remember Chesapeake used to have the Intamins. They might still do the Intamin store on was it Battlefield? You can get them. It's like Intamins. But, you know what I'm talking about? Like the powdered donuts and. Oh, the cheap bread, like the little outlet. Like, well, I don't know if they had the bread. I guess they do have bread. And they had the snack cakes and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had the, and they were close to date, you know, so you can get them real cheap. I'm just saying. <laughs> and it, it, it is. I was a teenager, so I ain't pay attention to this. Oh, man. Hey, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. The, um, they got one on for uh, Shout Out Indian River Road. It's, um, it's sit right there, you know, on the right hand. Well, if you're coming down Indian River Road, like you're trying to come towards the interstate, or like you're going towards, like your military highway, you bust a left on, on Indian River, it's going to be on the right hand side. Oh, go, go get you a snack, you know what I mm-hmm. mean? And be safe. Tell, tell them that your boy Big Dave sent you so they can cut that check and not get an endorsement. They won't. You know, <laughs> the outlet bakery, you know what I mean? <laughs> the flea market of snacks. Sheesh. <laughs> mm-hmm. But go ahead and tell them your humble beginnings, James. Oh, yes. humble beginnings. Yeah. Crack so, James was born in a place that was very dark and very hot. Um, Caught in Norfolk. Don't you talk about the group. Oh, wait. As that was good. Is. That was good. Got nothing against Norfolk. It's called Norfolk. It's called Norfolk. 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 Just for the spelling, it's N A W. F U C K. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, I'm on the spot. Yeah, I'm on the spot. spot. Uh, What's your hat say? Oh. For those who may can see it, uh, it says director, you know. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm also, I'm not, I, I don't only do a podcast, mm-hmm. but I've been promoting DreamCloud films for a while now, but I'm uh, a director, writer, mm-hmm. and founder of DreamCloud Films, so mm-hmm. that is what I actually, in the, in the pursuits of doing, you know, mm-hmm. uh, doing films, whatnot, uh. I mean, I've been I've been writing since I was uh, I was a kid. What kindergarten? Everybody been writing since kindergarten. Whoa, James. Damn, I mean, you did, he didn't interrupt I've been your story. Sto- <laughs> <laughs> I've been writing stories <laughs> since I was I was I was, I was little. Since you know. he was a wee lad. Why why you why you writing short bus? I was writing stories. That's my <laughs> right. We got picture books in the short bus, baby. Picture books. Yeah, yeah. So you know it's real. No, it was real. Yeah. <laughs> Decided to you know, take things further once I uh, got in college. Uh, actually, uh, shout out! Actually, shout out to both mics, uh, Mike Mitchell, uh, aka Mega, and uh, Mike Tucker. You know, those are the two people who actually uh, really pushed me into pursuing uh, pursuing uh, filmmaking or writing filmmaking. Uh, what not? You know. Cause like at first like I never really told nobody because like I always felt like it's not something that you can do to make money you know mm-hmm. like, as a career thing mm-hmm. and plus like none of my friends was you know into was, stuff like that the, yeah doing stuff like that you know so, mm-hmm. so hashtag <laughs> support your artist for real for, for real. real for real so like I just kind of kept to myself why not you know but yeah here I am now. Six, seven years now. I've been, That's awesome. You know, uh, I mean, I can't. I won't say going strong, but you know, it's, it's still a work in progress. You know, mm-hmm. uh, trying to do things to create buzz, to come up with money, mm-hmm. uh, why not? Trying to surround yourself with good people mm-hmm. that that has similar goals mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. you. You know, and that's key. You know, mm-hmm. you, definitely, definitely. Like, you can just have just anybody on your team. All right. Major facts. All right. Shout out to um, James Future Project. He ain't say nothing about it. Slurricane. 
is um Sorry. it's a hurricane of aristocrat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> you get swept up and then you start talking like wiggy wiggy. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be, it, that, that would be released on my other, uh, my, my uh, what do you call it? My sister company. You know? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, red cup. Yeah, red cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, baby. <laughs> in conjunction and parallel, the golden bottle pop is Golden bottle pop. Shout out to Big K. <laughs> Shout out to Six Pack. Yep. 40 hours. It's 40 hours. <laughs> Shot glass, you know what I'm saying? It's lit. And the duo, and, and the duo singing group, Pina Colada, you know? Pina Colada. You know? <laughs> got it all, baby. <laughs> we got it all. Shout out to Bottom Shelf. Bottom <laughs> Shelf, yeah. Bottom on the bottom. That's the way you just go. Rock good. <laughs> Blow the dust off that. <laughs> MD 2020, you know. The Lord. Oh, man. Mm-mm-mm. That MD. Man, or that wild eyes rose, boy. And did you know the MD does not stand for Mad Dog? Yeah, we, we just been saying that for the, um, Mm-mm. you know, for the longest, man. But that's how the hood do. <laughs> that's how the hood do. The hood to say something like, you know, coronavirus got my mama sitting on a lifetime supply a ginger ale, cause the hood see him. <laughs> ginger ale's a fix. Gin, you, you ginger drink rest. You know, you drink six ginger ales, and you ha- and you sleep half a day. You fine. All you better. Know? That's why if you if you black and you born in the eighties, you immune to the coronavirus. You ain't gonna get it. You. <laughs> you ain't gonna get it. <laughs> too many ginger ale. You, you got mm-hmm. too, you got too many ginger ale. Price you got is right s- marathon. Yeah, seven <laughs> up. Yeah, you know. <laughs> You got the young and the restless in your book. Oh, yeah, all the novels. <laughs> and you said, man. Shout out to Sonny Corinthos, though. Y- y'all look Google, y'all look Sonny Corinthos up because he's a soap opera legend. Mm-hmm. That's his character's name, Sonny Corinthos. Legendary. He is still on the soap operas to this, to this day. To this day. He is still on the soap operas, <laughs> baby. I'm like, man, my man Sonny been doing the damn thing. My man Sonny has been on soap operas. Since pimping been pimping. It's like Since pimping been pimping. Pimpin'. Ah, I miss those days, man. Wait, watching that and see my mama. Nah, not watching it. Just it's being home for that. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just, just that time. Just a different time, yeah, man. I don't recall my mom watching soaps. The other thing was, was Lifetime. Mm. Oh, my <laughs> God. Lifetime is a mess, man. <laughs> And I thought it was just me. I thought I was always just catching like these ridiculous stories, but it's like everything. And now they don't even try to finesse the names anymore. The name is just like, my husband kidnapped my daughter. I'm like, so we not even gonna try and to make you it look interesting. At the info box, <laughs> and, <laughs> the struggling divorce mother. <laughs> the single mom strikes back. It's like, wait a minute, like we ain't, we ain't gonna we not even no be trying to be clever. My mother should be love her. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the sex parties part two. And it's like, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a is this minute. Right time? X and X and X. It's like, wait a minute. How did we get here? Oh, oh my god. <sighs> Major facts though. It just lifetime just be and you know what? And they they still going strong because they got their yeah. whole network. Yeah. You can subscribe to them when you buy your cable packages and stuff like that. So they still doing the damn thing. Yeah, because I think they have a like another uh channel. Something like I can imagine. I, I can't remember. I guess Hallmark is not the same thing as like Hallmark. Hallmark got this year, similar, like boy. cheese. It's similar. it's similar in the way that like you know it's gonna be like corny and cheesy, mm. but like you know you can have the kids around when the Hallmark movie is on. You don't know what Lifetime's gonna throw at you, Shoot. and it'll be the most dramatic. Like a teenager goes from Barbie dolls to cocaine. There's just no in between, and you're just <laughs> like, whoa! Damn. Damn. <laughs> how did we get oh, here? How did we get Barbie dolls to cocaine? It's just like that. So, you know, I can't do. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> hey, nah, nah, you too old for them Barbie dolls. I got this new toy for you. What is it called? Come Have you ever had a kilo before? A kilo? <laughs> <laughs> What's a kilo? Just Pull take out a the sniff. whole set up. There you go. Yeah, take, take a sniff. sniff. <laughs> smells like flowers and stuff. The, uh, the and stuff part, you didn't uh, elaborate on too much. <laughs> yeah, flowers are death. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I can see everything sounds, colors. Smells, I can see it all. But, cocaine is real. But cocaine got like what different nick- nicknames for cocaine? It's like you got white girl, white girl, yeah, booger sugar, 
Uh, How to blow. Blow. Yeah. Ooh, blow. I wonder where that came you from. Know you know you're really you know, showing your true colors now. I'm, I'm not off until I die, baby. <laughs> I'm not off until I die. The white girl, um, the, on the white horse, you know. The white horse. Yeah, the white horse. And know? then they call it, what, like a bump? I learned that from Hangover. Mm. Call it a bump when you just want to have a little bit. I guess. But but then you get you get like a more recreational drug like weed, and you get Don't all die. kinds of. You know, those are the cool names. You know, they get ridiculous the Rossi, names. But, you, know, you got cat piss. Cat piss. You got dog penis. It's like you know. Dog penis is not one. Yeah, yeah. You got right, you got like fluttering dolphin. You be like dolphins don't fly. It's like so how do fluttering they fluttering dolphins. Yeah. <laughs> it's not supposed to make sense. You got but paralyzed it's true. cheetah. Be like, why would I smoke something called a paralyzed cheetah? Like, but you're, you're still like, all right, let me go ahead and get man, that. <laughs> man, that sounds that sounds that so sounds out, terrible. outrageous. Give me give me, give me a dub shot. Right? <laughs> like speaking of which, have you ever seen Grandma's Boy? No, mm. you have to watch Grandma's Boy. Who does that have in it? What's his, Billy Bob's in that one? Or no, no, um, I. Um, it's a cast of like B actors, oh. but um, it's it's produced by um, Adam Sandler's company. Oh even though I don't like Adam Sandler, you know, like Adam Sandler and Happy Happy Gilmore, Happy Gilmore. is his company, right? Or no, no Happy Miller and Gilmore is a movie. Um, uh, his company called Billy Madison. Billy Madison. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But um, he's Adam Sandler's big guy is not in this movie. Uh huh. But um, like Gilmore's boy is a shade. Is a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say just throw the whole tree. I'm down. saying though, <laughs> like it's 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 a, like it's, it's a, like it's like a B movie, mm. like, but it's it's pretty much about a this thirty year old man who loses his job mm. and he moves his grandma, but at the same time he's he's like a, a, a game tester, you know. But and the whole pretty much it's it's a it's a uh, uh, what do you call it a story movie. A story movie. Oh, a stoner, stoner. Oh, stoner movie. Yes. Yeah. So my, apparently, after like. Car? Do is yeah, still my car? Where's my car? Soda movie. Nice, nice, nice. I found that entertaining. Um, they made a How High too with uh your boy Lil Yachty and um uh, uh, um and, and yeah, DC Young yeah. Fly or whatever. Have you seen it? No, I can't bring myself to do it. Like I was such yeah. a big like Red Man and Meth Man fan, and mm-hmm. like the way that they did the original How High, I was like, there's no way that these two fools can can match that. Nah. Well, where they even go with the story at that point? It's like we get it, okay? It's we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to see that Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa joint. Oh yeah, um, mm-hmm. Young Wild and Free or whatever, yeah. mm-hmm. or High School or something like that. Some play like that. High yeah, I think it's called High School, <laughs> which is ironic with Snoop Dogg in it, but whatever. <laughs> Shout out to Big Snoop. Big Snoop, Uncle Snoop. So I get to talk about myself now. Yeah, so how about you, uh, Kiddo? So, humble beginnings. My humble, (laughs) humble beginnings. So I'm Tina, and you're probably wondering, like, who is the chick on this podcast? Believe it or not, I'm in a relationship with that guy over there, Big Dev. And I'm a model and a makeup artist. But and you a, ain't from the group home. And I'm definitely not from the group home. Um, model, makeup artist, medical assistant, mother, all of the above. And um, industry-wise, I just love movies. James appreciated that about me. Let me be on the show. I like my horror films. I like good graphics in a horror film. I like good movies, a good story. And um, my humble beginnings. Uh, like I said, I've always wanted to be a model since I was probably about 14. And decided to try to go for it. And then somewhere in between time, I had my son. So I took a back seat to all of that. And you fast forward to once he got to a certain age, I got back into it. So I'm representing for the mommy bodies, as well as, you know, expressing myself creatively through my makeup artistry. So nothing funny and fancy. Just simple. Mm-hmm. Simple, simple, simple is, is the best policy. Thank you. Appreciate that. Even though there's nothing simple about this guy, no. You got damn right, boy. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you know they were uh, saving it because you know everybody want you see that y'all y'all come to see me, but you see <laughs> David Ruffin, right? It all started. I, I, started, I thought I'd say something, but I ain't gonna say that. It was a cold winter day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> about thirty. How old am I? You don't know how old you are. About thirty-three years ago, it was a cold winter day on a January sixteenth. You know, and, and a bright star Mm-mm. cast Mm-mm. it from the heavens. And By bright, you mean like uh, fire, up, fire, and so, <laughs> fire and brimstone. For the record, he said there's nothing simple about him. He is simple as hell. 
Your mom. Take anyway. that. Take it from me. He is simple. Your mom. That's anyway. fine. She gonna listen to this podcast. I don't give a damn. She gonna clutch her pearls. What? Yeah, clutch your pearls. You mean her necklace and rash, though? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Huh, but it's your boy, Big Dev in the group home. Uh oh. <laughs> Story started, I was born in California. I was raised in the group home, North Virginia stand up. Um, <laughs> military brat. Same. Military brat. So Same yeah. Yeah, yeah, we all military brat. Shout out to the um, the us us military. Shout out to the army. Who? Uh, who are? Mm-hmm. Your dad, your dad was in army. Yeah, he yeah. was there. Was in. Twenty years. Yeah, my um, my dad was us navy. And, um, the us navy. Yeah, he was us navy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He yeah, was it, a look, seaman. Yeah. Look right. So look, <laughs> look. Whatever you do, just never say that because he'll see. My dad, my dad cuss. <laughs> 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 I ain't been on no goddamn boat. <laughs> Cause he was on land, he was a CB. Shout out to the CBs. Um, I was raised out the group home though, North Virginia. Um, I, I I'm a comedian. I'm a comedian. I'm a trucker. Um, I'm a part time um, stripper. Mm-hmm. Um, Fridays. Yeah, I'm this a um, Friday, every Friday. and every Friday baby. Uh, at the church, baby. D a c h u r r i c h, baby. <laughs> And everybody what loves Friday because Friday is Fat Bitch Friday. <laughs> Fat Bitch Friday. This Friday and every Friday at the church, baby. The church. D A C H U R R R C H. Yep. The church. The church. Where the Honorable Reverend Dr. Deacon, uh, High Magician, um, Pope, um, Pope? um Evangelistic Usher, yep. Reverend H. H. Cheese, mm. precise. Paul here, Paul here, Paul here. Be on the lookout, cause we gonna make this a reality. The no church, good. the church, no good can there. come with this. Oh boy, cause greatness is gonna come. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm a comedian. I'm a trucker. Um, I'm a father. Um, coach. Um. I'm the good cousin out the two of us. <laughs> and you see, you see the evilness in him is making him choke right now. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the allergies to the BS, but go ahead. Um, and um, and so what got me, I guess, into the entertainment game. Gang, gang. It was by sheer chance. Um, uh, I, I I took a fearful chance on a um a lot of people don't like shouting up, but shout out to the funny bone comedy class. Shout out to Tim Lulies because I met some of like my best and greatest family Besties. members. Yeah, shout out to Jess Jess, which is another comedian. Love her. Kim Tucker, which is Love another her. comedian. Chris Conley, which I is my him. is my husky twin no, brother. And my man Matt. Darkness. AKA Darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And shout out to all the other local comedians. I don't know. There's too many of y'all that. But yeah, I took a chance. I, I really won't, I really ain't find myself funny that much, you know. Mm. I've been told I was funny looking a lot in my lifetime. I disagree. Now, Still. you see, I be wanting my first reaction to say your mama, but his mama is my auntie, so I can't <laughs> say that. Because then she going to see this, and then auntie had that ruler back in the day. Mm. Yeah, you remember that. And the spoon. And the spoon. Oh, the wooden that was one. Fuck. <laughs> Get them hands right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, old school classic, boy. Anyway, it's effective. Um, so got a taste of caramel. Been doing it ever since. I've been a fool all my life. A whole all lot of fool. I can second Pole, that. I, I can. I, I've been a fool. I've been. I, I was. I was. What do you believe, there. though? Huh? What do you believe? What does a fool believe? What, what a fool, fool believe? believe? <laughs> <laughs> That's my infamous question. <laughs> So if you see this podcast, and I'm like, hey, what do you believe? And you're like, I believe that that sunshines and rainbows reign supreme. Oh, I'm going to respond. Oh, so that's what a fool believes, right? Yeah. That, that, that's my thing, baby. So, um, <laughs> but no, now and then I got a taste of it. So um, this is what I do now. I tell jokes. I tell jokes. jokes. I, um, I do sketch comedy. I do podcasts. You see, I'm, I'm the... um. With all this bitterness over here, I'm the wow. brown sugar, you know, I'm the agave nectar, you know what I'm saying? Just, so what am I if you if you brown sugar? Huh? Hey, you know, huh? Huh? What am I? 
if you the brown sugar. So, mm. but like I said, it's That's um, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like hater ratio to me, but so. But, uh, uh, um, so I started. I went to the comedy class, did a set from there, and then um, been doing comedy ever since. I've been comedy out of state, been paid to do comedy. Kind of a big deal. I've been on the Funny Bone no, a couple of times. I ain't gonna say this much. No, a couple of times I've been on the Spirit of North once. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got probably under like 10, 15, 20 shows under my belt. And more to come. Yeah, yeah more to come. Um, personally, it's like, um, uh, despite all the jokes, I'm a helping hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, help anybody out that need it. You know, a pointer out of the obvious. Uh, and when it comes to the movie thing, I really don't know a whole lot about movies. <laughs> I, I just, you know, you can go to, you know, anyway. So, the, um, <laughs> <laughs> yep. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna help you out. You can go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, I, I'm a good president. Everybody love, everybody love you, boy, Big Dev. This is true. Everybody loves Big Dev, and Big Dev loves every almost everybody. Yeah, yeah. That's, again, almost, that lightning gonna strike. Keep almost, mind. Almost, almost everybody. Almost everybody. I, w- I wanted to say something, but. Yeah, I had to mm-hmm. correct myself, boy. Cause it's <laughs> boy. Every anybody listen to this podcast? Cause I'm I'm the real. I'm the reality. You you can you can shut the hell up, James. But it, you the everybody on this podcast is like even even the nicest person like myself Wait. that loves Wait. some of everybody. You can think of like three n words off the top of your head that you can't stand right now. You know. So at what point were you the nicest on the podcast? Yeah. I don't talk ish about none of y'all. You don't, you don't talk ish. You just said you just said my mama multiple times. Yes. You told me I was simple. Are and you not? Every, in every podcast, you, can, you, you go. I want to say your mama, but you know that's auntie. You refer to yourself as a short bus hero. Because so. I am the hero of the so short bus. So if I call you simple, I'm disagreeing with you. That's not a that, No, 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 no. You could have no, no, called no, no, me no, the no. superhero of the no, short no, bus. No, 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 no. You could have called me Captain Short Bus. Yeah, uh-huh. and you know. And with my short bus tears, you know what I'm saying? When short their powers bus come back, <laughs> I become Captain Short that, Bus. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Short Bus, he's, he's a, a hero. hero. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> he's a foolish man. We love to call a Negro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can call him a Negro. No problem. Oh, <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it's like yeah, it, it's like that. It's like that. I was um, I was declared gifted by the state of California um, for having a brilliant mind. I just say foolish stuff. Like I said, I told the teacher my favorite color was clear. Uh, clear. By gifted, hmm? by gifted, um, you mean what? You know, special? like my thoughts. And when I share my thoughts, it's like open up a gift on Christmas. Is it though? Every day. Is it? Though? And the gift is cold, right? Cold, damn. You you like real cheeseburgers, don't you? So sometimes okay. that's what the cold is for. Though. That's what the cold is for. Yeah. Well, it all comes full circle. But my grilled cheese is cooking on stove. You know. He likes grilled cheese. How did we get here? First of all, you okay. see, this is the running reality kick, and it's not a grilled damn cheese. That's what. It, it's a fried cheese sandwich. That's what I it mean, is. You could grill it. It, it ain't no. You can you put can, it on a grill, but you don't put it on a grill. The, the closest thing you get to a grill for that is George Foreman. Right. So you get the little panini lines. And so it's a. This, and the George Foreman is like an advanced sandwich maker. Advanced. That's what, Speaking of George Foreman grill, What's up? you know Hulk Hogan was uh, was originally supposed to be the face of that. Oh. But he missed a phone call. Damn. Are you serious? Hulk Hogan. Yes, yes. You see, it doesn't roll off the tongue, though. The Hulk Hogan grill. The Hulk Hogan grill. Maybe they okay, would... brother, we're going to get oh, this brother. shit, brother. We're barreling off all this fat and cooking it right. No, I don't think I could sing Hollywood Hogan. Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood Hogan. Yeah, I don't think Hulk Hogan. I, I think Hulk, what could Hulk Hogan say? Uh, Other than Slim Jims? I don't even do... No, nah, Macho Man was the best Slim Jim advertiser. <laughs> Eat me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so my man was snapping in his Slim Jims. You know, uh, H- Hogan, he got, um... He could do South Tanner, because that dude was always yeah, tanner. Yeah, he could do, yeah, he could do <laughs> tanner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, your president could buy pick up some good tips on him. You know? Yeah, no, better selection. Yeah, yeah. better selection. It's got to be more wise with our choices, baby. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't understand how, you know, you miss all this, you know, 
Because the thing, there's something wrong with that man. man but listen, we're not going to get on that man. Man, like, listen, my man, he look like his daddy is an orange. His daddy is an orange? orange. <laughs> you know, he's like a, like a whole orange, you know what I mean? A whole lot of vitamin C was 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 splattered everywhere <laughs> the night he was conceived. And you know, he was gonna leave it at that. Oh my god! You know, it's, um, <laughs> his parents look scary, boy. They all look scary. Yeah, they look he's... like they look like Tim Burton characters. Yeah, and that's not a compliment. It is, not, 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 not a compliment. And not like Nightmare Before Christmas. That shout out to Tim Burton for that one. Yes. I'm talking about like the Corpse Bride or oh, something. Like that. They all was looking <laughs> sick and tired. <laughs> Nah, so uh, personally, favorite kind of movie I love comedies. Mm. No figure. I love action. Yeah, action. I love sure. action movies. Mm-hmm, I love mm-hmm. comedies. I love actions. Um, I guess under that would flow. I guess horror under that, and I, I could deal with a. I, I could deal with a, a, a romance. If it, if it, if it got like a, a funny undertone, mm, like Hitch. Was that the one with um Will Smith, Will Smith and um, yeah, um Kevin James? Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Yes, you Let's have. See. I don't think so. I was, he was yeah. like he was trying to help Brahma get like the model chick and like also no, no nothing. I saw the one with uh, Amy Schumer and um <laughs> and, yeah. when, and when oh, John Cena yeah and when John Cena was hey tone low. <laughs> Said all kinds of gay stuff. Oh my god! It'll be on your eyes, so gay. <laughs> <laughs> like I can, I can, I can, I can say I have a favorite genre. Uh, genre of movies. I just, hmm. I just, I just love movies. I mean, now I don't really like rom coms like that. Right, I, find right, right. Lot, I find a lot of them cheesy. You know, because he likes to cry. James ain't gonna tell y'all that. He loves to cry. I, th- I wonder, like, what all falls under rom com sometimes, like. Uh, He's just not that into you. That's one of like my favorite yeah. like romantic comedies. I found that hilarious. But uh, the trashiest romance ever created was the Titanic. Here you go. <laughs> For those stand. who have not listened to a podcast before, Devin is an adamant hater of the Titanic. He thought it was a waste of time. It was a hater. He it is a hater. You, so you like that movie? I didn't. I just I liked it. Uh, answer the question. <laughs> Social media America won't know. Oh, sips bud. So. That answers that question. You know, you know, so, that, um, yeah, you know that movie trade. You know I, that movie trade. Well, put it this way. What's up? I have no desire to watch it again. No, I have you, man. Listen, we and, and they spent so much money. We could have did that right out there, over there by by Nauticus on the Spirit and Offer. We could have okay. did that whole movie. We could have did on the Spirit and Offer. We could have threw some ice cubes out the tree. Threw some out ice cubes. <laughs> Right into the water. No one know the difference, right? And now. nobody would know the you whole difference. Sense. Straight off the spirit and off. Right there. I'm talking about straight in the chest beat bay. That was a whole thing. We could have could have saved so much money. And like, only difference is, you know, like I don't think we really find I we had we had to be the black folks and I don't see black folks you know, not sitting on the water for hours listen, at a time. Man, listen, look right. So so this whole Titanic would have been a completely different movie if black folk Starred in that movie. Oh, you Lord, know what I'm saying? First of all, first of all, black folk ain't sailing nowhere with no icebergs in the water. Right, right, right. If we gonna go sailing, we gonna go sailing somewhere where it's warm because we mm-hmm. want to get out off the boat. You know what I'm saying? We want to gyrate a little bit. Gyrate. You know what I'm saying? We want to dance. We want to go somewhere where they got where they playing the music like Little the little, little Mermaid Under the Sea. We want that's what we on that's what we do. Band. We don't we just don't go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Secondly. <laughs> It, we would have been some life jacket wearing jokers in that war. That part. And, and then and then and then black women got some of the biggest booties known to America. So, booty float. So flotation Bo- devices. Booty floats. <laughs> and then we got a lot of obese and robust people robust. In, in the black in the black community. Fat floats. So I tell you this, y'all can joke about big dead being big. I can tell you this, if we on a book and that mug that that joker start to go down. Don't grab on none of this stomach, because this stomach gonna float. I'm gonna be like, Bloop. I'm gonna come up like a pin. Skinny jokers don't muscle muscle sink. So all y'all, all y'all bodybuilders, uh, bodybuilders one life. I'm gonna bite and lick the weights when I go in there. I'll wow, be, lick the you know, weights. You know, all y'all, 
Yeah, I count my macros and I drink my protein. All y'all jokers that sound like that, all y'all going straight to rock bottom. Straight, you see, straight again, to, Dev's expressing his hateration over here. Straight, straight, straight to the bottom. So we wouldn't have had that. We, 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 we. You wouldn't have caught us slipping up because somebody would have, somebody would have been doing some unnecessary stuff. Because <laughs> when we on vacation, it's always somebody doing something. Somebody would have saw that ice. The whole ice cube. Some, a whole ice. Some ice. And somebody, and you see black folk, we would have jumped inside the, the, the ship's cabin, uh, and, and we would have turned, started turning the boat. I damn so. Start fussing at the cabin. We you won't turn we this found, around. We would have found a reverse button or something. Because black folk, we love big vehicles. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We put 24-inch rims on anything. <laughs> oh, anything. You know? We've been driving Astro vans and Caravans and Lincoln Town cars all of our lives. It's you like mean. a boat ain't no different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Would have hit one of these numbers on the steering wheel. You know what I'm saying? Let that joke, yeah, and ease that joke on out. And, and classic, classic Kings of Comedy. Oh the band would have been playing. The band, yeah. because, for, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, look, look, and, uh, I want to take it one up. step further. They would have just dropped the instruments. <laughs> that, <laughs> hey, they, they would have came on about, hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 Dipset. Hey, hey, look. look, look. Dipset. We haven't told anybody, right? Dipset. We haven't told anybody, right? We just so, we need you to keep performing because we about to run into an iceberg and we'll possibly sink, but we don't need y'all. Causing a panic. Causing a whole panic. Yeah, you, you got that, Jim Jones and everything? Yeah, 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 we got you. We got you. Hey, we about to die. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you hey. better save yourself. I'm done. <laughs> it would have been no discretion. They'd have just hopped straight off the stage. <laughs> yep. Had a private um, helicopter hey, come pick them up. Real hey, Jewels, what's going on? Shit, this motherfucker about to go down. What? Okay. We out this month. Okay. We out. <laughs> we would have been packed like like 600 deep on the goddamn one little life bright and everything. Like, Tell people not to breathe, just holding it. <laughs> and, and look, we would have been telling, you see, what, what, what? who were the two? It was Jack and who else in the Rose. Movie? Jack and Rose. Mm -hmm. If that would have been Leroy and Shaniqua, I can't. Leroy would have Shaniqua, you better move your big ass over. Oh, no. You better share. On the door. You better share. On the door just floating. <laughs> Either we both go down or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You better wrap yourself up in that eight pounds of weave you got on top of your head. Not eight you know? pounds of weave. Hey, hey, we, man, listen. Man, no. Man, that well, weave was something. Man, I'm listen. gonna use other exploitation devices. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Man, listen, <laughs> you know, we got eye shaped people that be affording vacation. The people that be affording vacation be the ones that don't need to be in two piece bikinis any goddamn way. You gonna get this two piece? Hey, man, listen, and be shaped like be shaped like a table in the back. But be be shaped like beach balls in the front. Man, everybody would have been just grabbing tables and beach balls. Yeah, just... grab a titty nipple and we gonna float because it's like you know. Grab a titty nipple. Yeah. Is there an other type of nipple? Hey, you know, hey, we just heard that um vagina had cheeks. And so I'm sorry, what? So so oh, yeah, you missed that. Yeah, you missed that. Somebody said um somebody's dress was so short they could see the vagina cheeks, and I was like, pause. It's like I, out of all my years of study woman anatomy and, and, and taking family life and in Norfolk public schools and, and, and watching a plethora of adult films, I have never in my life, never what? in my life seen a vagina that had cheeks. As a woman and as someone in the medical field, I'm trying to understand what part of the body they're referring to as vagina cheeks. Vagina and it's like I know you know vagina had lips. Now now the person didn't use vagina, uh, Oh, sorry. Yeah. What what did they say? Uh, they said things that we cannot say on this PG thirteen oh. podcast. Yeah. I see cheeks. I see cheeks. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Meow cheeks. Meow cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty cheeks. Kitty cheeks. Kitty cheeks. Kitty cheeks. <laughs> Puss and boot cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely did not know these two things. Hoochie cheeks. Hoochie cheeks. We're just keeping it real PG thirteen around here. Real PG thirteen. Wow. Well, I didn't bring out the words to me. I mean. Is it the worst in you? Don't blame it on me. Why? You're not blaming on me. Why? You like, are the worst in me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have nothing to do with this. Whatever, James. I was always up here reading my own. Um, Don't. Now, look. You know lightning going to strike. You keep it up. So, go ahead. Well, reading what? The cue cards? Because you got no cue cards. What was you reading, though? I was I was praying before you came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you were praying. Yeah, you were praying. Yeah, praying for what? Huh? 
Playing what? All right, you see that's two. a personal conversation, huh? Yep. Two. What? Playing two. God. God. Yeah. What? God up there or 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 where else? Where else? You see? You see? Yeah, they always try to throw Plymouth Rock. Who is on they? Me. Y'all, y'all in cahoots. Okay. Y'all. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. an innocent bystander here. Right, 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 right. Mr. Simple, right? But where was the lie, though? You right. Okay, then. You wrong, but you right. And ain't. This is Thank you. James don't see a lie, so I'm not sure what to tell you. Go look in the mirror. Wow. After you. Wow. The disrespect. <laughs> you see, all I've been doing, <laughs> I am truly an innocent bystander. I just came here to eat and be merry. That's all I came to do. That's it. I'm a good noodle. Right, 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 right. Just right. being disrespectful. Right, right. Yeah. Hmm. right, right, right. I'm surprised, James, that you don't have a particular genre of film that you like. I mean, you kind of write from the, I would say, dramatic standpoint. Real life standpoint. No, his ass retarded. His favorite genre is Sesame Street. The genre. Sesame Street's not the genre. <laughs> that's James' genre. Sesame Street. I, I, I was, I was thinking mama, but uh, that's my auntie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I like how you worked that. Yeah. I like how you worked that. That was good. That was good. <laughs> it's a tough situation, ain't it? Mm mm mm. <laughs> that's the first thing you want to say. But why is that the first thing you want to say? It, it, it's, it's an awful thing. Is it a Norfolk thing? I'm gonna take this last nag. Uh, it, it's a Norfolk thing, man. Right. I, I want to say your daddy, but you know. Yeah. Man, let's not be disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know what? Nah, your daddy. I'm sorry to say Eddie, but. <laughs> <laughs> My daddy said he retired. He been retired. <laughs> That's where I get it from, boy. <laughs> but um. He, he the original short bus right there. Short bus, short. Like from from, from a writer from a writer's standpoint, mm-hmm. uh, I feel like. Like drama mm-hmm. is my go-to. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess, but now, big B, B, since that is the easiest thing to like to do a film. Okay. With my budget, mm-hmm. but uh, I actually kind of prefer to write sci-fi. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, do I, 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 I like? I do have a few sci-fi projects. Okay. That should be the most in, affordable one right? in the works. You see, you know? I'm with that. I'm with the sci-fi. I'm about to say, I would love to get into more um, effects when yeah. it comes to stuff. Yeah, yeah. With my makeup world. Ass, alien looking ass people as you know. Definitely. Disrespectful. You can put the big nose for you. Man, listen. Boy. I neither can confirm or deny to whom he's referring. But yeah, I would love to get into more like effects. <laughs> All the hurricanes come out. Effects. <laughs> But, stupid. Uh, but I also love um, dark black comedy. Mm. I love dark comedy. Like, Parasite was a dark comedy. Mm-hmm. And I loved it. Yes. I loved it. Especially when she kicked Hunger down the steps. <laughs> right? oh, that was a fierce. That was so That was a fierce smooth. kick. She just like, and I'm grabbing the food and kick her down the stairs and where's the salt? Like, just very matter of fact. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Whoops, whoopsie. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, especially, uh, Tarantino movies, you know, he, oh, also, big he also has mm-hmm. like a bit of like, a dark humor. Comedy, yeah, you know, I can see that. Movies. You know, I, I, I know we said we said I said this before, but with the whole um you, you, uh, the whole utility man. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That is basically uh my version of a Quentin uh, a Quentin Tarantino. Tarantino movie. Yeah, a little spin off of that that um. Oh, okay. we, we can definitely kick that up. You know? That's awesome. Especially with the, uh, with, uh, with the dialogue, mm-hmm. you know. I, I'm not sure if I show you. Um, the silly drive script. Hmm. Like, drive. Um, I, have, <coughs> I have a script. Down the wrong I, pipe. I have a script <clears throat> called um, a short film called A Silly Drive, which is the characters Mr. Brown and Mr. Black. Mm-hmm. You know, Sunday's drive. Um, hmm. But the dialogue is like it's all the dialogue in the movie. You know, okay. and that's uh, I guess I would say that's my attempt of not impersonating but hmm. adapting that style of. Stop writing. I mean, that's good. I mean, that's definitely thought provoking, which which people remember. You know, it's how you make you feel, stuff like that. So that's dope. I I like horror since I can remember. 
Like, I was telling them when I was young, like, most kids, I guess they try to sneak and watch porn or <laughs> just watch cartoons to late in hours. And I would try to sneak and watch my mama's X-Files when she was watching the X-Files. <laughs> yes, that part. And I'm like, I'd be terrified. Wouldn't be able to sleep good right away, but I loved it. And from there, it just was like, the more horror I can get exposed to, the better. And back when people used to watch these uh, circular devices called DVDs, mm -hmm. um, I would always go to the special effects option on that or just the behind the scenes or whatever they want to call it and see how they did the gag. So when like uh, like one of my favorite ones, which is um, Dawn of the Dead, they had all kinds of like explosive packs. So it was like a scene where they're like kind of doing headshots to like the zombies just kind of standing mm -hmm. out. But they had real actors with these explosive packs on the back of their head that was timed for the, the filming purposes. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you could feel the blast. You could get a sincere reaction from it. And I dug, I dig that or mm -hmm. Like I said previously, they use real amputees, so you know they might put some some kind of scar wax on them, some kind of viscera, some kind of fake blood on them, and have them like hanging from pipelines for people who don't really have legs. And there's some amount of thought that goes into it, or even saw. Like if you look at the behind the scenes for saw, you see a lot of gross stuff. Yeah. You know, a lady coming out of the the pit of uh, needles, syringes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And so what they did for her is they did a, a prosthetic of her arm, and they already had like rubber. Uh, syringes in it so for the scenes where she's like crawling out it's kind of moving or whatever then they have like um, this fake kind of glass it's kind of like rubber glass so it looks like glass but it's actually rubbery mm. so that's what they fell into so it actually was kind of just sitting like amongst rubber pieces but it looks bad and then they add the effects of like glass being kind of churned around so you really get that whole experience and you're like on the edge and you're feeling it I love that to think that someone's ideas playing on your senses can kind of put you in that space with them Kind of cool. Like, like, I'm the same way uh, when it comes to um, Christopher Nolan's movies. You know? Okay. Right. Um, one of the reasons uh, outside outside of his writing, the guy who did um, Inception and in Interstellar, mm -hmm. uh, outside of his writing and how he deals with his characters, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I like I like him for, for the fact that he also he doesn't use a lot of CGI. Mm -hmm. He uses a lot of um, practical. Um, Practical, um, practical um, effects, mm -hmm. you know, like for instance in uh, Inception, mm -hmm. you, um, the scene where uh, the dude in the hallway fighting. Yes. That's not CGI. Like they actually built the a kids, set. I saw that. And they, the whole room was turning. Yeah, I think that same technology was used in um, some plane scenes for uh, not snakes on the plane, but there's another plane. I want to say the same one actually, the um, for Dark Knight. That scene where it looks like you're kind of falling out of the plane. They had all mm -hmm. these things rigged, so they don't use, like you said, they don't rely on CGI or green screen to create that. It's just good camera placement, good gags, good like acting, and playing on that depth of angles and everything like that. It's pretty cool. And then in the Dark Knight, um, the scene with um, with uh, that the, the truck trailer flips over, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they actually flipped that that truck over. That's they're cool. still driving. Oh and, my god. Yes. That's I can dig it because they got like a like as a truck driver, you, you see like they got like um special courses and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Where like they take CDL drivers and then like they just whipping the hell out of like a tractor trailer and like nice. you can actually intentionally uh -huh. flip a tractor trailer. Right, that sounds like terrifying and kinda cool at the same time. <laughs> it sounds like something I would never want to Because then you just shook when you go back to work, it's just like is this gonna happen? Yeah, <laughs> But of course, uh, it was a stunt driver. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder how what decisions one makes in their lives to become a stunt driver or stunt person, for that matter. Like, you know what? I know I look vaguely like such and such, and I'm willing to jump off this fucking building for real <laughs> 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 and let them catch the shot. Like, that's how did we get there? I can see that interview. How do you feel about caution? Throw it to the wind. You're hired. You're hired. So you can <laughs> sign here, sign here. This says a death contract. Yeah, but you can just yeah, sign just here. Sign that <laughs> <laughs> it's a trippy series of events. Yeah, like but that's also one reason why I'm looking for his next movie um, coming out in July. Hopefully, if it doesn't get canceled due to all this vibe that's going around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, the movie Tenant. Um, Tenant, I think I did see the trailer for that. Is, um, like in the trailer, uh, toward the end, of the, toward the end, mm -hmm. like, um, do the car chase scene where the car flips over, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it goes from flipping over to landing regular and spinning, like driving backwards. 
Oh, wow. Like, I'm really interested in how he did it. I know that's not CGI. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> that's scary. And, you know, there's people who study that. And they, they figure that stuff out, how you can do all these ridiculous stunts. And, like you said, just somebody who thought, I'm going to just throw caution through the wind. And, hey, if I can get paid to do it now. <laughs> all right, look at my mom made it. <laughs> that child that, you know, just jumps out of trees. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, it makes me think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Audrey, Jojo. Oh, yeah, Jojo going to be a stunt double. Audrey, if you're watching the podcast, we, we see a bright future for Jojo because yeah. he's, <laughs> he's a little bit of an acrobat as it stands. <laughs> well, I, I did have some stunts that you can do, Devin. Oh, boy. You, know, you may have some some contracts, though. But. I got a stunt, too. I just need a shovel so I can dig one of them spotting holes in the backyard. Mm-hmm. And you just going to kick people in it. Oh, man, yeah, this is awful. And just, all you got to do is just fall. Madness. Well, uh, this is not. I'm not good at kicking. Hmm. Now nah, you see, I need you to fall. I, I mean, I got bad knee and falling is kind of hard. Believe it or not, they yeah, actually like each other. I got arthritis in my other. eyebrow, so it's like so. What about eyebrows? I got arthritis in my eyebrow, so That's I can't get that surprise. You see how ah, you see how I can't get that surprise look. You know, what I'm well, oh, he says as he raises his eyebrow. <laughs> it's a struggle. You see. Well, oh, you can wear a mask, so yeah, what about that? Nah, this beautiful face got to be seen by everybody. Beautiful well, face. Well, you can wear like a, like a ski mask and just pull it up like right here. You know, shout out to Norfolk, because when, <laughs> when you're from Norfolk, they give you a ski mask as a right to pass it. What? <laughs> on your 16th birthday, you know. Bruh. Congratulations. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, you, Who's ready to ride? You get, you get a ski mask, you know, you get, you get a... You get a a rewards card to Feather and Finn, and um, a rewards card yeah. to Feather and Finn, <laughs> and, and you get you get turbo passes for the Jordans when they come out on Saturday. So it's like, yep. you know, you just hop in front of the line because you're from Norfolk. You yeah, this is Norfolk. It only works when you go out of go out of your city because everybody from Norfolk's from Norfolk, and it's yeah. like, but well, you can go to Chesapeake and try to pull it. You know what I mean? Yeah. They'd be scared. But certain parts of Virginia Beach would be scared. Don't try it in Portsmouth. Yeah, you Don't might Don't try it in Newport News because they're going to be like, right, they're going to look back at you. You might like, bitch, I'm from North. I'm like, bitch, it's Portsmouth. You're like, oh, okay, my bad. My bad. You got to play. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> my bad, my bad, you know? Praise God. Okay? Praise God. God. <laughs> now, I like the back of the line anyway. Roll the box. <laughs> Just, you know go ahead and so, carry my... I, I can appreciate, like, so... Some of my favorite films, you know, were on these rectangular black things called VHS. You don't say. Um, shut up, James. But um, <laughs> I just, I just <laughs> yeah, but but I know what that um was going to. Do, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I was gonna say I thought your favorite movie was uh, Little Mermaid. Oh, so, shout out to so Sebastian <laughs> the Crab. Thing. Maybe because you made my whole man that that was the jam, you know what I'm saying? That, that <laughs> la, 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 don't be <laughs> shy. Kisty girl, you got to kisty girl. Shout out, shout out to the fish that were going a wow wow in the background. You know? <laughs> shout out to y'all because y'all without y'all, it wouldn't be no me. But um, so I remember, but I did appreciate when. I got to see some of my favorite classics mm-hmm. on DVD. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm a Rocky fan. So when I got to see how they created the fight scenes between, like, Apollo Creed or Club of Lane, and to see the, to see the, the amount of uh, actual acting that had to go into an ass whooping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because it's like... It, it brought it to life. And you can appreciate camera angles and stuff like that angles because you everything. could not. Mm-hmm. The one thing I always want to know, how do they get the um the, the moving face effect? Like, do you actually got to take a punch every now and then, you know, to get that the look where, like, your, your whole jaw face, and everything yeah. is splitting? Well, I think that's a that's a timing, right? Like, yeah. when they catch that shot, it really makes it really yeah, dramatic. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, because that, that joke is... You couldn't tell me that. And that shout out to Mr. T won't whoop and rock his ass, boy. That first fight, because he would give him the business, boy. <laughs> I'm talking, about, man. That was that was when I knew I loved. I had an affinity for um for black superheroes because Club of Lane was one of the original black superheroes oh, that I ever seen. Because he he gave Rocky the business, <laughs> but when he went to that press conference, like um 
get the night with your wife. I show what a real man looks like. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and, and Rocky tried to jump back, but it, he he, he knew that at, at that time. Oh, nothing you could do. <laughs> he just point. dusted you off. You he know just what I mean? knew he effed up. But um, <laughs> I, but I can appreciate effects. I can appreciate um, I like the rawness. I like. The movies I like usually have like a, like a rawness to it, or like an effect. Like one of my favorite movies is the Friday After Next. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> with, with Money Mike, you know what I mean? And you know, pimping, pimping. You know what I'm saying? Pimp down. Craig and Daddy. Just I needed to see. It's just I, I love the I just love the rawness of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I just I just love how I love when a when a director can kind of like just this is just what I. The, when the, when the writer and the director can be like, this is the way I see it. This is this is how I want it to go. Mm-hmm. And and it can really, like, captivate the audience like me. Because despite the, the insultful thing of the whole simple complex. <laughs> is, um, you it, called yourself a short buzz hero. Because I am a short buzz hero, baby. But, but I love... I feel like the best directors give depth to the simple... Mm-hmm aspects of a film mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's like it's like the dark knight is one of my favorites and I, it was dark oh well it was dark knight rising mm-hmm. the one where he crawled out the um the, the hole yeah the hole mm-hmm. so it is i feel like it was a very well directed very well casted very well shot mm-hmm. movie i feel like it was very great what i feel like the I feel like the the simple the simple aspect that was highlighted was the darkness mm-hmm. of humanity mm-hmm. and the light that that shines in humanity that even though it shines bright it's still encased in a lot of darkness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? And it's like and I love that aspect of it. I love how you know it's like everybody is trying to like hold on to these nuggets of humanity. Mm-hmm. Everybody's trying to hold on to these nuggets of will, and it's like. It's like everybody's not so different. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I love movies that like show both sides. Like, like how Quentin, mm-hmm. you always gonna see multiple sides of the story. Yeah, yeah. You always gonna see multiple sides of the story. You gonna you ain't gonna just get it from your cookie cutter aspect. That's for sure. You know what I mean? You're gonna get it from okay. Like when I saw Kill Bill, I felt for Vivica A. Fox's character. Mm-hmm. Because like you got a baby now, you know, mm-hmm. you you know, you done changed your life. But I, I can understand Uma Thurman's side too now. Like, like, hey, you know, I, I get it that you, you know, you changed your life, but mm-hmm. you know, y'all changed my life. So, Catch this work. <laughs> so, 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 it's a lot of things changing, and you know, what I'm saying the one thing that hasn't changed is my desire to give you an ass. That's true. And you gonna catch every, every piece. piece. Yeah. of this ass whooping. <laughs> you know, um, what's your favorite Quentin Brown uh, film? Oh, Pope. Pope Fiction? Pope. I, uh, mm. I, he likes the Hateful Eight. I love the Hateful Eight. I, I, I love, I, but I, I love Django, though. Django. I, they had Carrie Washington. Her name was Broomhilda. Broomhilda. Bruh. Broom. <laughs> Django was good. I they could... gonna kill your black ass, Django. Django, what? you black son of a... <laughs> 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 One black cowboy can't kill all the white folk. Mm. We can do it. We always going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, my heart will be a toss-up between Pulp Fiction, mm-hmm. Django, and Inglorious Bastards. Inglor- I never saw Oh, Inglorious Bastards was a good movie. The Bear Jew? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It was this giant white boy called the Bear Jew, boy. And he was a baseball player, Andrew, but he was beating the hell out of them goddamn um, Oh, my God. <laughs> Man. I have not seen Inglorious Bastard. Inglorious Bastard is a good movie. Um, I have to say, my favorite Quentin is definitely going to be Kill Bill. But it's it's close because he actually has a lot of really good films. And because Dust from Dust to Dawn is Dust um, Dawn is really good. It's like, I, I really can't say a movie that I've seen from him that was bad. And and, and, it, and it says a lot for me because I don't I don't like you don't follow people. Like I, that. Yeah, I don't follow people like that. It's just like, his perspective, like you said, is very raw. And sorry, y'all, very raw. And um, 
<laughs> and you have these moments of like the dark humor, even the unnecessary gory part. Like you look at Kill Bill and the scene where the um, the crazy eighty eight was going up against um, mm. Uma Thurman's character, and there's just blood and splatter and everywhere. And then you kind of see that mirrored again in like the final scenes of Django, where it's just like, I mean, it was just unnecessarily Unnecessary. bloody. And you're just like, this is ridiculous, but I'm entertained. Like, I'm going to keep yeah. watching. <laughs> on, 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 on a hateful eight, when, when, when Samuel Jackson played uh, a, a, a black superhero in that joint, mm-hmm. where he, he, he was um, a soldier... <laughs> For, for for the blue army and um I'm bounty hunter and he was some pictures don't you man listen man and, and and when he made when he made a racist he white was, um, confederate yeah confederate yeah. leader suck his penis for dear life in the cold in the cold butt naked but booty bald ass naked boy but booty ball. Begging for a black kid. That's all. Make him beg. <laughs> and so I see pictures, don't and what he said, he blew him to kingdom come, boy. Oh. Ref- where did he refer to it as his dangus? Dangus, my big black dangus, oh. with his on that warm head, head full of blood. Blood, because of how cold it was. Oh, Jeez, boy, Louise. I'm talking about man. It is like this that level of like. Oh my god! And it's like and the catchy and like the like because that shows. I feel like I feel like the thing I can appreciate about movies is when people can get into it and then when they can like take all the lines out and really see how things go together. Because like to, to, to write to create a character from that aspect, you have to really step into like the feeling of like okay, what would it feel like to be a former slave mm-hmm. that is like on this like gravy train of killing white right right racist mm-hmm. and then you got the you 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 know what these people were doing to our people yeah. mm-hmm. so it's like so i feel like Quentin has to get in the character and he has to embrace these characters for who they are i think he embraces the level of realism he's he's never shied away from the, the very N-word. presence yeah. Of, oh yeah in the word but there's the presence of racism across the board it's like i'm not gonna shy away from it just like in kill bill there's so many things that he could have shied away from he doesn't and I respect that a lot. It's like it, it hits you at your core because you're like, whether you want to talk about it or not, you're like, yeah, this is real, and I'm and I'm with it. I feel like we all want a level of realism um, in the films that we like. Mm-hmm. I think like the the day of like escaping into a fantasy and like a bubblegum variation of our reality is less appealing to us, except for when it comes to creating new worlds. Like I do feel like that's the the sci-fi benefit is they create a new world that you want to get into with a level of realism that you feel like this is possible. But Yeah, like Judge Dredd. Um, I haven't seen that. Wait, 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 which one? It's the original. With uh, what's Probably, the name in it? Like the remake was a lot better. I didn't see the remake. The remake was so much better. I, but I love the fact... I heard that. Didn't, uh, didn't Sam say that? I, I think he did. Um, shout out to Sam, the shaman of Norfolk. Um, shaman of Norfolk. Um... But I like the aspect of um. I like the weapons that you could like say what is going to shoot and it would shoot. I um. I like. I was um. I'm a big uh, Starship Trooper fan. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Shout out to Rico's Roughnecks. Yeah. Um. Rico's the one that looks like a Ken doll. Yeah. And um, shout out to Dizzy because they they didn't have to kill Dizzy. Yeah. They did not have to kill Dizzy. You know that's that's one of my yeah. big. They didn't have to do that, you know what I'm saying? They didn't have to kill, and they didn't have to kill the um, the black one that told him to give him the bomb at the end, and he was like, and Rico was like, you trying to be a hero? He said, I'm just trying to kill some bugs, sir. Yeah. And he, I mean, he went out straight gangster. Yeah. Triple OG status, but I'm like, yo, man. But uh, in fairness, though, they, they, they did do a lot of killing. And I can appreciate that about a movie. Right. When, they, when they kill people. Uh-huh. Like, people that you're attached to. Yeah, and when it's like, it, it, I feel like there's right. a name for that, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, but it's like they'll, they'll kill people that you grow an attachment to, mm-hmm. and that should that you feel like should make it through the movie, right? Because the the white the white boy with the spiky blonde hair made it to the end of Starship Troopers. Right. The one that played the violin. Oh, oh, the, the, the one that got hand uh, knife. Yeah, mm-hmm. he made it to the end, and it's like, but it's like you would have think I was like, 
he won't really know about it. In the, in, the, in the grand scheme of the movie. I like that, though. Like, there's a film, I don't know what category it falls under, called Sucker Punch. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like, of course, I'm as a female, like, movies with strong female leads. Mm-hmm. But, like, the whole story, you're following this particular person. And the way the story ends, you realize the story actually wasn't even from her perspective the whole time. She ends up going when it's all said and done. I haven't seen that to the end. You got to watch it to the end. Well, I found it really good. I like seeing pretty bad chicks, you know, taking on these, um, you know, realistic situations as a parallel to their real situations. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Chicago did something along that lines, too. That's a musical. I I, I, I like the concept of it. Of Sucker Punch? Yes. I I, I love the concept. Uh, Goes into video game mode real quick. (laughs) I get what what we were trying to do with it, Mm -hmm. you know. I just, I just felt like there was a lot of things that he missed. Uh-huh. You know, like, I, like, I, I know you, you, you try to build these strong females, mm-hmm. but why they had to be sex slaves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah real abusive. <laughs> but, but I mean, that's how it is. So, I love cartoons, too. Cartoons oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. anime. I love cartoons. I have to say that I'm, I'm also, I don't know if it counts as cartoons. I like kid movies. I used to say I'm a Pixar and DreamWorks fan. Yeah. Like all of that. Like people are like, oh yeah, you have a kid, so you watch them. Like I would watch no, them if I didn't have a kid. Yeah, I'm about to say. I shout was more out excited. To <laughs> I was more excited about Disney Plus than I think my kid was, yeah, to be honest yeah, with you. Kids, I don't give a damn. I'm just like, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. my god, I can watch a Bug's Life. Like, it was like the first film I watched on Disney yeah. Plus. I love the, I love the Bug's Life. I love the blueberries, you know. Oh, the blueberries. Yeah, the blueberry little... style. <laughs> I love blueberries. I figured you'd be a fan of the little stacking um roly poly. I love the little, yeah, I love the little roly poly. You fire. Yeah. <laughs> I love. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I mean, put this tennis bag. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I love. Uh, I've never been a big Seinfeld fan. Well, I, I like the show a little bit. Seinfeld? Yeah. But, I can't say I've watched a but whole a episode. movie though. A B movie when was entertaining. The, and when he said, that slave to the white man, and then that black, the um, the black lawyer kind of stood away like, yeah, nah. Nah, <laughs> not the same. <laughs> but you got the cow to um, still want to get defended. Okay. <laughs> Aren't I now? No. Bing. Your mama. See? But I'm I'm not nice, right? You just said my mom again. Twice. Disrespectful. Your mom, your mom, your mom, your mom, your mom. My name is Devin, and I'm so mature. I am I'm mature. mature. I'm more mature than you. I'm so mature. I'm so mature. I'm so mature. mature. I'm so the mature. most mature song in the world. La la la. 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 <laughs> la. The most mature song in the world. <laughs> That's gonna be the intro to this. There you go. La 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 la. la. <laughs> Oh my god! But yeah, like, like I do love anime cartoons. Are awesome. Yeah. Like my favorite, uh, I can't. It's hard to get a favorite. My favorite anime. That is so tough. Many of. It's so tough. You but, you follow that yes. storyline and you get into it. But if I had to pick one, uh huh, it had to be Steins Gate. Okay, I'm familiar. I like the Tokyo Ghoul. I Tokyo I was on the edge of my seat every episode. Shout out! <laughs> shout out to Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan, super clutch. Shout out to um. Death Note. Mm. Death Note was really good. Not the movie one that. Yeah, the movie was ass and trash. For 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 the record, the only thing I liked about the real life adaptation of Death Note was the actor that they had to play L. Oh, not that because was good, I it. yeah, not because he did a particularly great job. I feel like they gave him horrible direction when it came to that. Yeah. It was like, oh, he's just popping candy, but they don't explain why L is addicted to candy. He doesn't mm-hmm. sleep. Just for the record. Or why he's so brilliant. He's a brilliant strategist. He's not going to do something stupid like his character was doing yeah, in that like, film. Like, a, like, a, like, why are you chasing him? Like, he would that, never. That was, he that would never. Happened never. In, in anime. Like, because he would know better. He yeah. would just anticipate his next movie. He wouldn't chase anything. It was just garbage. But I appreciate it that they chose to go with a black actor and someone who was cerebral. I thought that was dope. That's about it. So I would highly not recommend. You watch the real life adaptation of Death Note, but if you're looking for a roller coaster ride of character twists and plot twists and just general interest and morality questioning, definitely watch Death Note. That is super dope. Even though they made L uh, uh, a little bitch. At the I, end. Mean, I, I mean, I mean, not L. Um, like I mean, like 
Like, oh, like yeah. Hold on, hold on. You ain't gonna talk about like Yagami. No, I mean, you, you no, know, the movie, in the movie. In the, oh, oh, in the movie, movie. I'm about to say. Oh yeah, they made him a whole bitch. Because <laughs> in the movie, yeah. I'm about to say in, in, in actual, in the actual, anime, they him a whole bitch. The anime is worse. Because like, like the reason why the anime is so good is because you have these two people who are both smart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and it's that. definitely a battle of wits. Yes, amongst you know, the their power. And the movie didn't even. Didn't even touch it. Tried to. It was just like a detective and a kid, no relations, no parallel, which is like the meat and potatoes of Death Note. But in the reference to the anime, though, mm-hmm. it, it, you see everybody was talking about L and M. Mm-hmm. Light took out L. He did take out L. And it took it took a whole nother ship to somebody else. Yeah, yeah, they do. They uh, actually get But you know, they didn't mess up. They did do a pretty dope uh Recreation. Oh, um, um. Yeah, Ryu. Ryu. That, that was that was that spot was, on. Yeah. That was spot on. Yeah, spot on. I mean, Shout that stare. Yeah, Will that Will was spot. Defoe. Willem Dafoe was classic. Yes. He's a he's a pretty great villain. Like, and not in a way that like if I saw him in real life, I'd be afraid of him. But in a way mm. that he definitely throws all himself into it, and you're just like, ah, this dude is crazy. <laughs> Another good anime is um Black Butler. Black Butler was very good. Black Butler. Well, for what I've seen, we yeah, don't know where the story goes. From. It is more to it, and um, you could buy the other ones because it um, it continues. But Black Butler, have you seen Black Butler? No, no. Black yet. Butler is good. Oh, it is. It, good. It's definitely worth the watch. It is really good it, because it's another one that it tugs on the moral scale of things mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because you have the hero's a demon to a degree. Yeah, the hero is a demon. He's, and it, he's plotting on his prey the whole time. <laughs> but the thing is, so what you love the relationship between the you predator do. and the prey, and it, it's quite actually beautiful. It, it, it's like a real beautiful story. But it's kinda, like, I wouldn't, how, I wouldn't know how to describe it. Not really father son. It's kind of like I don't know, big brother, little brother. Kinda? Yeah, it's kind of it's. But you know, like with with anime, they flirt a lot of like lines. They definitely like flirt that. a lot of lines. You know, because um the the vampire night when I just watched the whole. At the end of that, the, the the brother and the sister vampire, they were born so that they could make Yeah. So it's like to keep the bloodline strong and all of that. You know, and <laughs> that's actually a practice, though. It is. Yeah. Isn't it funny how that came up in the other, other show we were watching, yeah. too? So it's pretty prevalent. But um, mm-hmm. I do like that about anime. It's like I feel like they represent, you know, all the kind of characters that we're used to, and then they kind of flip yeah, it, and then yeah. some. Yeah, because like they play with masculinity and femininity the way we see it as I'll have to say just American because I'm an American, and so like you have like this hard character who's a dude like in a skirt, but then you'll also have like this hard female with a light voice, but she's wearing a suit the whole time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. In different variations, or you have men who say things or or come off flamboyant based off our understanding. You know, and even say things that suggested that they may be interested in men, but they never go to that point. You know, well, they what I'm go saying? Hard. Shout out to the gourmet. The gourmet. Kaneki. <laughs> My sweet, sweet, sweet Kaneki. <laughs> it's like, for the record, it, that sounds like a man being very much affectionate towards a man. He wants to eat him, and not in, that's not a euphemism. That's literally, uh, he that's wants to like, eat that man. That's like, that's like scallions. <laughs> yes, he's season. like thinking about all the, the yeah. recipes he can devour Maybe this person. Sauce. Or this ghoul, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, or kill just with a bit of mouse. They touch on that a they lot. They do. Too. They do. They... Especially Hunter Hunter. Yes. Hunter X Hunter? Yes. Yes. Do they really? Yeah. Like, like the clown guy, he's a pedophile. Yeah. <gasps> oh, well, that's yeah. unsettling. But I feel like that's the same guy that, I feel like the same voice actor that plays. Um, um, Gourmet. Gourmet. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, that, have... that kind of vibe. That's unfortunate. But, but that's also part of it. It's like, you know, circling back to... My favorite film by Clinton Carantino with Kill Bill is that he touches on that. You know, one of the main characters, she seeks her revenge based off the fact that this guy's a pedophile and just like very casually takes him out. But that's part of the culture. It's like this is a culture that the other thing you'll see in anime is kind of like these docile, innocent, over-sexualized women in relationships that don't always seem even I'll say or balanced maybe you know you like got high school of the dead <laughs> yeah I don't even got to watch pieces of that with you oh my god boy oh <laughs> my god it, 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 the raunchiness in yeah. that 
But it's a good, it's a good series. I mean, it, I mean like, sexuality it is. is a part of life, so it doesn't take away from it. It is. It is a lot. You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Especially um, the scene where he shoots the, uh, the rifle and like, oh, uh, like the one chick and she's cutting them zombies and all of a sudden she like do the matrix and also who like her boobs like uh, 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 unnaturally boobs through the gun goes through the bullet go through her titties. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, man. <laughs> High school of the dead is right that man. I see that's a the funny thing like um with Dagon Meliodas and Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, Seven Deadly Sins. He constantly was like he wouldn't be like, hey girl, he'd be like What's up, girl? Like, handful of titty, and it's just like, what kind of disrespect Man. is that? But she was into it, though. But that's the thing. She would just be like, uh, uh, and I'm like, oh, hell no. Like, the, 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 the raging feminist in me was just like, no, fuck that. Like, tell him get your hands off me. I don't care if you like it or not. Mm-hmm. Like, it's disrespectful. <laughs> but I just, you know, that's all a part of it, too. It's part of their culture. I feel like they, they touch on it, no pun intended, all <laughs> aspects of it, so that <laughs> everything's <pun> represented. <laughs> Without necessarily being like super social justice warrior y, mm-hmm. without like, oh, we had to have a gay because mm-hmm. the gays would be mad, but more which is like this character has these notations are they gay? Are they just flamboyant? Where do they fall in that line? Or maybe they're very overt with the fact that they are gay, and that's fine because that's what that character is. But yeah. anime has a level of freedom that I feel like American cartoonery doesn't. Yeah. Major facts. Yeah, and I feel like it has, I feel like, I feel like anime has so many different levels and octaves that they could go with because they can give you something as Y7 as Pokemon or Digimon. Yeah, Y7 or, like that. <laughs> yeah, or, or Beyblade, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, or something. Mm-hmm. Like, Is Digimon know. considered? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I like Digimon, so, don't um, Or they can give you something as like Hardcore, as Akira, mm-hmm. or even to the point where they have their own brand of pornography with the, with the, with the hint. <laughs> exactly. I mean, serious. Which is true. Yeah. So it's like, so they they have so many optives and so many different spectrums mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Of, of the way that they illustrate and, and they have the freedom to express it. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's that's kind of like the downfall to American cartoons. I, we had some dope cartoons back in the we day. We did. And I feel mm-hmm. like they give too much into the dirty and the, in a quick flash kind of aspect of things with no real sustenance to it. Because you don't got anything that's really going to like stand the test of time for real. It's because you got to think, man. It's like, I would still watch the Powerpuff Girls today. Powerpuff Girls, um, Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Johnny um, Bravo, do the monkey S- with me. Super Secret Agent, Secret Squirrel. Mm-hmm. You had, and, and these were the lighthearted cartoons. Yeah, fine. Ed, Ed and Eddie. Yeah. You know, you, you had the like, you know, you had, you had Doug, you had, hey Arnold, our real monsters, the wild <laughs> thornberries, duck the wild, tails, Yes, the wild you know, thornberries, I really enjoyed. Darkwing Duck, it's like, you, you can, you can rattle off all the cartoons, and then it's like, even the generation of cartoons that have, that like, were out, while we were like, while we were like, in the like, we're, we're small, mm-hmm. like, Thundercats. Oh. G.I. Joe. Mm-hmm. He man in the masters of the universe. Um I was a big mask fan in the back uh, in the back of the day. <laughs> um it, it I mean um the original Voltron. Mm. You know, the Transformers. Even though, even though Voltron, I won't I won't, I won't say Voltron is actually a Japanese It is a Japanese cartoon, uh, but it's like but it, it ain't true. It it is. But just to show that like even just with that era. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Of, of cartooning it was like you had a little bit of a deeper concept yeah and and you had something to attach to mm-hmm. because it's like people would laugh but it's like you learn a lot of your moralistic values from the things from that you watch. watch definitely you know what i mean it's like you you get your sense of good and evil from the things that you watch yeah it's like so but the thing is it's like when the things that you watch nowadays are stupid mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and they flirt with a little bit of Idiocracy, or they, or they have so many different. <sighs> when there's so many different rules and regulations that we gotta include this, that, and the third, mm-hmm. and you gotta do so much. Cause what, what are you holding on to? It's funny that you say that, cause I meant to touch on that too. It's like I grew up on Disney. Like I would always say I'm a Disney kid. As far as I literally even listened to Radio Disney when I was growing up, had my little radio, Disney, yeah. and I played diskette for you. Uh, I don't even know what generation to call it. For y'all folks who don't know what tapes are, I used to listen to tapes 
pop it out, flip it over, mm -hmm. get mad when you pull the tape too far and you got to wind it back. But I digress. But I mean, I grew up on Radio Disney, so I know a variation of songs. You had your Weird Al Yankovic as well as whatever was popular. Yeah. Um, growing up. Shout out Amish Paradise. <laughs> Amish Paradise, major facts. Um, or even just like the Disney Channel, they had their own series of films and like they had something called like the color of friendship, which touched on racism. And, mm -hmm. you know, I grew up in a multicolored looking home. So I didn't even think twice about judging someone for being of a different complexion or a hair type or whatever. But, you know, even I felt like Disney was trying to try to touch on, you know, variations of things. And so I enjoyed it. I saw the world like that. That's where my love of Disney films even come from. That's all I watched. That's all I was entertained by. And the stuff that they come out now, like I tried watching the show with um, my boyfriend's daughter. And I'm just like, yo, <laughs> like Fuller House that's out right now. They oh, talk yes. about freaking surrogate pregnancies and, 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 and homo yeah. and heterosexuality. And I'm just like, oh, this is a kid's show, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, how did we get here? No. Family Matters wasn't talking about that. No. I mean, but, but keeping on the cartoon theme, it's mm -hmm. like, it's, I remember you, they gave you a sense of direction, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I remember w w growing up watching G.I. Joe, and you could easily tell who the good guy and the bad guy was. Right, right, right. Simply by the lasers that were flying across the screen. <laughs> Blue laser, that was G.I. Joe. Red laser, it was Cobra. And it, it, and it was and it was very distinguishing. And then it's like, um, and I feel like cartoons were like some of the first things to try to like integrate, mm -hmm. like that you could have like powerful people that were of different colors, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Captain and Planet who had the first, like one of the first black leaders I've ever seen in my life. And before. at that point, multicultural representation without overdoing it. You had an African, mm -hmm. you had a New Yorkian, that's not a thing. Okay. You you had a girl, I feel like, that was Swedish. Okay. You had an Asian chick. That part. And then you had a dude that was Indian. There you and, go. And, and I think he, Don't he you was say red that dot, that? not felt it. You, know you I mean? do know that is like a racial slur with a red dot thing, right? Yes. All right, so he Middle Eastern. There you go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, only your convenience store, is not you? Wait. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's like, um, so... But you, you, but it showed how they could all work together. Mm -hmm. And there again, it's like, you know, they can not plan it for my woke folk. They were ahead of their time, you know? Okay. Black man had the power earth, you know? Because, you know, True. this is, this is, this is, we, we the original people of the earth. That part. You know what I'm saying? The original man, you know, mm -hmm. my brother, my brother. And um, what were they fighting against? They were fighting against, um, oh, shit. Uh, what, what is, what, um, yeah, and go back to the theme song. How's it go? <laughs> and pollution is not the way. But what is it? It's um. You want me to pull it up because I'm tempted to. I can't think of. It. <laughs> but nevertheless, it had a clear, a clear perspective. <laughs> is the, the thing, thing to do. Looting and polluting. Looting and polluting. That's it. <laughs> not the way. Looting and polluting is not the way. Thank you, James. <laughs> Thank you, James. You know, looting and polluting. Throwback. Even that, like, even the, the characterization, going back to, like, anime. Anime takes the time. It's like, I'm going to give you a theme song. I'm going to give you an intro to this anime that you don't want to skip past. Oh, my God, like, yeah. I bet you um, you still know the Pokemon theme song. I want to be <laughs> the very best that no one ever was. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's my main time. To train them is my car. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. He will give me to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon, gotta catch them on the way. You know who my best friend is, Pokemon. Oh, you're my best friend in a world must defend. What we gonna do, y'all? You teach me, and I teach you. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, classic, classic. Don't tell me I can't pay attention. You know what they told me? I had ADHD when I was running that goddamn truck bus. You can't remember that damn song if you got ADHD. Y'all just was born as hell in that short bus class. And that was it. <laughs> that is epic. 
That's epic, but that is not what exists to this day. Like, but you see, you heard the optics. We know the optics. We yep. know the tone. We know the pitch. We know the where to go on the C, yep. where, where to go on the A. It's like these kids coming up now. Their classic is going to be, a, "Are you ready, kids?" I, I, Captain. I can't. I can't hear you. I oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob. It's like yo. It's like where? What? I, I don't feel that. Yeah, you can't feel that. I don't feel that, you know. <laughs> There's no finesse. There's no inspiration. You're not like, oh man, my show's about to start. Yeah. But that was the thing. That whole concept of like, oh, my show's about to start. That's out the window yeah. now. That's whenever you decide to press play. <laughs> you see it. You see it. You see it. You see it. It's like it was so. And with the morphin time, they were hitting gang symbols. You know. Mastodon, pterodactyl, triceratops, saber to tiger. Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> you ain't gonna do it. You ain't gonna do it. I love the thrill that just was in your face. You ain't gonna do it. You ain't gonna take it there. You like? You like? You ain't gonna take it there. You ain't gonna take it. But everything, everything has like a theme song that you can get into. It's like my, you know, even to something as is new school. It's like my Powerpuff Girls. They have their theme song. Ducktails. That Disney have a plus size characters. Mm. A small uh, shout out to Baloo. Baloo. Oh, Baloo. Oh, we are Tailspin. Oh, we are Tailspin. Yeah, yeah, you see, I'm telling you, Tailspin was my joint. Big Baloo, baby. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. Y'all about to rock out to some 90s cartoons, boy. Spit it. You spit it. You see the spit it, boy. I'm telling you. Man, I'm telling you, man. I mean, it, it's, they don't make stuff like that. They, but don't. they, they don't. They don't. They that, really don't. But that's why, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I feel like sometimes like when it comes to movies, mm -hmm. it's oversaturation. Or films. It is. But I, I feel like the problem is, Nothing is wrong about being small screen. Right. Mm -hmm. Everything is in a, is in a major motion picture. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's fine. Like, I, I really respect what Netflix mm -hmm. is doing with, like, Netflix originals, like, Hulu originals. Uh -huh. Because it's like... I'm not going to be too disappointed because I pay this monthly fee any goddamn way. Right. Right? You know what I mean? So, either I'm going to take a chance on it. And then it's like, if I don't like it somewhere... Then carry on. But I feel like the presence of them is also why everybody wants to create movie quality and hire mm -hmm. movie actors in their series. Because it's just like, if this is going to go to stream, I still want that same kind of audience. Oh, yeah. I still want that same level of interest. Just like with um, the movie w w the movie that we had watched, um, Six on the Ground. Mm -hmm. it's, it's got Ryan Reynolds in it. It got, it got Deadpool. And it's like, so... Same, same person. I, I dig it. But, it's, <laughs> but so... Black America, I, yeah, I did it for y'all. I did it for the hood, like Adrian Brown. I did it for the hood, you know. <laughs> y'all know I beat that boy. <laughs> y'all know I beat that boy. That was his defense. He's sticking to it. I, I did it for the hood. Mm. Sit your ass down. But um, he lost, did he? Huh? I, I thought he lost. That oh, one. he lost badly. Yeah, bad, bad. He lost badly, boy. It wasn't even no contest. But um, yeah, but so. Like I said, again, I can dig, I can dig them getting the big actors mm -hmm. and bring, because I also feel like that like shows a level of humble, uh, humbleness. For the actor? For the actor. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, when you see somebody like Angela Bassett doing a series, you know. Yeah, a high quality, mm -hmm. hey, auntie, man, mm -hmm. listen, <laughs> man. Like, especially now since a lot of uh, shows are starting to become more story driven. Definitely. 
And I can really appreciate that because I, I I like powerful storylines. I like storylines that actually they have the right balance of everything. They have enough backstory if, if they need to catch you up on something. It has a strong enough core mm-hmm. that could sustain the same um, the same tempo. Mm-hmm. Well, not tempo because tempo needs to change up and down from time to time. You want to feel like you're watching a film every episode. I want to I want to feel like I can follow along with the story. Right. And and it and it stays true to what it is. Mm-hmm. It's like almost like it's like living life. It's like I'm Devin. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's different aspects of Devin, but I'm Devin. I always be Devin and it's like my whole life, no matter what it is that I do, all contributes to the fact that I'm Devin. Right. Just like you, Christina, just like he's James. Mm-hmm. It's like everything he does. It's like he could James could go write uh, a rom com, he could go write a horror com, he could go write a horror drama, drama or whatever he wants to do, but it all contributes to him being James. You mm-hmm. dig what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of movies miss that aspect because they're just trying to be catchphrase. You, you, you dig what I'm saying? It's like everybody's worried about the bag, and it's like it's like, but the, but I feel like I feel like that's only negative. I feel like that's a big negative to the oversaturation of the films because right. it's like people. People aren't proud of the projects that they put out. Yeah, they're just trying to put out what uh, but, people. But it's a representation of the consumer. Mm-hmm. Because we're so quick. Man, back in the day, it seemed like a movie would come out in January. Uh-huh. And they'd still be in the box office by December. Mm-hmm. It felt that way, at least. It felt that way, at least. Like, you wouldn't see it, you know, on release to, like, that time the following year. <laughs> if a movie come out in January in yeah. the movie theater... You buying By it. February 13th, <laughs> you can get it from Redbox. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then it's released on demand, and then it's released in the store. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So, and it's like, so it's no time to really like. Catch your breath. It's no time to really enjoy. Yeah. You know, because. I agree with that. Because it's like, because some, it's like back in the day with, with this, with the sparseness, um, oh, because it took more time to put a production out, period. Not even a good or bad. Just because it took the time to put a production out, period. It gave time for the story or the movie or whatever it was to get time to actually grow some legs and actually start running. It's like, almost like music, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm bumping Jadina's second album hard, Mm -hmm. hard about it. Mm -hmm. The first time I listened to it, I really, I was like, I wasn't catching it. But it was because I was too busy. Like, my, my mind was on the trap vibe. Gotcha. But then once I got kind of like, I was like, once I got, I, I had to kind of, um, I had to detox real quick, mm-hmm. go put on some old school, you know what I'm saying? And go put on some soul jams. Holds by me every day, her love heart. Shout out Drew Hill, baby. Cut the check. So, <laughs> it, the, um, and then I listened to, I'm like, yo, Jadina is talking that. But I had to give it time to grow. Mm-hmm. Just but even if you go back to Jadina's first album when mm-hmm. he um won um, the chief mm-hmm. and when his um it took a while for like um some of his singles to actually catch, catch on, on uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. Because it was like the album that came out and then like six months later it's like now everybody wants to rock the class. And that's actually not bad when you think about somebody like Lizzo who her her truth hurts, which is like put her on the map and got her a full blown performance. She released it two years before it caught wave. But you see, so that's the thing that I'm talking about though. Mm-hmm. You see, because it's like it actually got time to actually grow legs and start mm-hmm. moving. Mm-hmm. It's like right now, it's like everybody's not worrying about making actually something with substance. Mm-hmm. So that's why you can't get sequels. You can't get true sequels out of these new concepts that are coming no, out. No, it's spinoffs at best. <laughs> at best. Yeah. But, but it's like because they're too weak to sustain themselves mm-hmm. on off the jump. Because there wasn't enough thought. But you but it goes, but then it's like when you look back at older films, that's uh-huh. why you can have something like a Creed two or a Creed three uh-huh. because Rocky had so much substance right. with it. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, um, another problem is Hollywood is not looking for original concepts. You know? no. no. They want to bank on the, the name. Because it takes too much to actually grow the baby. Mm-hmm. It's like it is it, it's a lot like our food, or it's like it's, it's a lot like parenting. It's like you want to skip past the part where it's like the baby don't poop in diapers no more. You want to get to the part where it's yeah. running off, or or mm-hmm. in some cases, a lot of other people they want the they want they want they want to baby something too long, and then it's like okay, but it has to grow. Right. You have to give it something so that it can actually grow legs and it can actually walk on its own. Mm-hmm. So it's like so yeah, it's like. 
but everybody worrying about the bag, and it's like the money will come with the good the money production. Will, and that's facts. I think that that definitely gets lost when they are churning out so fast, or they're just so desperate. Like you said, getting cash grabby. It's like I want to give that quality. Ooh, get it out there, and it's just like okay. Now the people and and you see it, the people's appetite it gets like stimulated and then drop down so quickly because you can binge watch because you can access it so quickly. There's no build up to it and there's no residual. Like I feel for anybody who's trying to make money off a franchise, like you got to do it beforehand because once it's out, you don't even, you don't even have to worry about the bootleg man anymore. That used to be like a mild threat. Like now it's just like how fast is whatever streaming or demand company gonna get their hands on it. And I haven't even sold my first T-shirt off of it, you know, as the person who created the project. So then you're right. They do bank on the the old name or an old classic that you're like, what made this marketable, what made this desirable is it had a story that you could follow, that you can get into, that you might revisit a few times, that had time to bake in the oven, so to speak, and not microwaved. You know? Right. And that's why I love the... Chris Nolan's the um, Tarantino's, mm -hmm. you know. They're giving you original stories, yes. for sure. Like all the movies is all original, you know. Even though uh, Nolan did at the Prestige, which is based on a book, you know, mm -hmm. but they always do original concepts, you know. Yeah. Well, also the Dark Knight, but you know. But even still, still, that's still an original perspective of yeah. Batman. Because yeah, because that's the other thing. Because a lot of comic books have different realms. Yeah. So it's like so. You can have a more, like, you got this one realm where Bruce Wayne dies, mm -hmm. right? And so that, and then Bruce's dad becomes Batman. Mm. But the mother becomes the Joker. Oh. That's cool. And that's a different universe. Yeah. And I feel like that would be a hell of a concept. Well, certainly. To really, not, it, but it would really take, it would really take somebody of genius to pull it off. Well, that's why I can shout out, like, the DreamWorks and the Pixar teams that come up with, like, these kind of fairy tale things. It, because they they put their own spin on a classic in a way that, like, you might be drawn because, oh, okay, I know the story of whatever fairy tale. But then when you see it, it's like, oh, this is a whole different concept. I'm a fan of this movie, not because it's a remake, but it's a new perspective. I can dig them when they're when they're really, like, trolling, who tro hold, holding true a concept mm -hmm. like i felt like brave was beautiful brave was beautiful i felt like how to how to um how to train train the dragon series. that was to feel like it was a brilliant series and I, I love how the series eventually went to the dragons getting their own freedom yeah which is beautiful which, which awesome I, um i feel like toy story is iconic oh yeah uh, um i Untouched. feel like Unmet. i feel like uh I, I love how like pixar and stuff like that these these people can um do stuff like like a b move or bugs line was talking about real life issues from a different perspective from a perspective that a child can understand mm -hmm. the, but the thing is though the brains behind that mm -hmm. is you're 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 coming with your child for them to see a movie but you learn a lesson you're getting yourself a message. even so though everybody gets wasn't it. it little foot that had like the message about like religion and, and mass production wasn't that little foot i think it was little foot when like they were like supposed to stick to these uh scrolls common play the voice of like the head of the village or whatever head abominable or whatever i forgot what they called themselves yes mm -hmm. yes 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 and they, and they keep them up in the arm. keep them in the clouds but yeah. was, this was a fixed cloud to separate them from mankind. From, from, from mankind and it just talked about how they strictly stuck to these religious beliefs that didn't follow logic and, and it, it was though, deep and deep even message. though the ones that were in charge knew better uh-huh they just kept they the withhold. same stigmas mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. and everything message but yeah big message but the thing that you said about the books mm -hmm. I, I feel like the aspects of like books going to movie prove the fact mm -hmm. that if you create something, good right, story. Mm -hmm. if, and it has to be a good story, mm -hmm. it can suffice. Like, like um, nice. Game of Thrones. I've never seen it. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that Nay episode. Me either. We're, but we're part of that one percent. <laughs> based on, based on, based on, based on the way that people reacted to ending. You can tell that it was a good story because they felt like they were sold short yeah. of a conclusion. That's it, 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 they felt like they were sold short of an ending. And it's like it's like you cannot have something so big, so boisterous, and so powerful and then try to cut it short yeah. mm -hmm. because it was so powerful. And But the thing is, though, it was a, it was a book, it was a concept, and it had enough of a following it had layers. Mm -hmm. so that it could translate into something else. Because if it is good, if it is truly good, you will get what you need out of it. You know what I mean? It's like um, I feel, but uh, you know, I feel like everybody wants to. Everybody wants the buck. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 
-hmm. Everybody everybody wants a dollar. And it's like and the thing is it's like you can get the dollar on the front end, but it's like you're gonna run out of ideas. That's why that's why I'm, I couldn't even tell you when Godzilla came out, but I know we still remaking that joke <laughs> to part. this day. You know what I mean? To this day. And it's like, you know, and I mean, and, and, and I know for me, certain movies, I wish they would come back out with. Yeah. Like another Small Soldiers? <laughs> Bruh, Small Soldiers. Small so We're not toys. We're action figures. It's like, yo, tell him, Sarge. Let them know. If you haven't seen Small Soldiers, that is quite a spectacle. That is like the rated R version of Toy Story. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> death included. <laughs> like, it gets ridiculous. Oh, they going hard in the paint. Oh, yeah, they go super Extremely hard. Extremely hard in the paint. And there, there's definitely those those uh, adult messages, those parallels are definitely in there. That's a trippy movie. Well, like Stranger Things. I feel like Stranger Things is a very good series. I like, you know, they definitely found the balance between a modern perspective of vintage things and enough that you follow a story. There's no cell phones. There's no social media. And yet you are engaged the entire time. And, it, and it's so, it's, it was directed and casted. And and, and, and and written so beautifully. Uh -huh. I remember the first time I saw like the opening thing, I was like, oh, I've never seen this before. Right. I thought it was like an older joint. I didn't, I didn't think it was like. But they went for that nostalgic perspective. And I can dig it. But it, and, it's like, and it goes to show you that. It's like, it's like how when I tell like my football kids or the kids I coach, it's like no matter what level of the game you get to, it always comes back to the basics. Yeah. It always comes back to the basics. Yeah. I don't care what sport you play. It's always going to come back to the basics and how well can you execute the basics. All the other great stuff mm -hmm. is like if you're a football player and it's like, okay, if you can evade four tackles and then you end up throwing like a 90-yard touchdown pass, that's great. That's amazing. That's yeah. great. But can you drop back, go through your reads and your progressions, mm -hmm. find the hole in the defense, deliver the ball? Can you manage the game? Mm -hmm. Can you hold on to the ball? Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like it's the basic. Can you catch? I don't care if you can knock somebody's tongue out the asshole. It's like, can you tackle? Can you get to somebody? You know what I mean? You know that, that you got some people. Ray Lewis used to goddamn do a number on some jokers back in the shout out Ray Ray baby. But um, Ray Ray like that's your cousin. Yeah, it's my first uncle. But um, it's like um, <laughs> my first. Uncle. <laughs> no, my second uncle. No, my Ray. first uncle. But, <laughs> but it's the basics, and it's like when it comes to these like these series, these movies, these films, even when it comes to acting, it's uh -huh. like I get it that you can do. Like that's why that's what I dig about Ryan Reynolds. Okay, I dig that technically you're an actor, right? But you do you, what you do fundamentally well. Yeah, and once you can truly say that you got a true grip on that. It's like then I feel like you go through evolutions like um uh what's your boy name? Um what's your boy. Johnny. Johnny Depp. I love Johnny. Because his core is weird. Yeah. His core is strange. Yeah, he does that yeah. well. He he's a very strange bird. When it comes to the when it comes to the to the flock of strange birds, he is definitely leading the pack. Yeah, he's top top bird. He, he is top bird. <laughs> Come on, you know Johnny, cut the check, baby. Cut but the thing check. is, though, but he can go to so many different avenues, really, and so many different realms. That's a top notch act. It is because he can do because he did that one movie where he was more so like a kind of like an action hero or more action star, the spy joint. He did a movie where he was a spy. Huh. I'm trying to think of what movie you, that is. What's salt? Was it? So, was he in Salt? No, 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 the Taurus, the Taurus. The Taurus, he, he was a spy. Okay. He was Taurus, he was Don Juan DeMarco, he was Everett Scissorhands, he was Jack Sparrow. He was Don Juan DeMarco? Yeah, you can see him as Don Juan on the um on the Island of a Thousand Women. Yeah, and he was the only man slave on that one. Yeah, he was Everett Scissorhands, he was freaking, what's the lizard? Django? Oh, oh, Rango. 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 He was Rango. He was, Rango. He was um, Sweeney Todd, the Demon Sweeney Barber. Ty. He was Willy Wonka. Yeah. I mean, he's the Mad Hatter. He was the Mad Hatter. Like, you know, he was even, Jack Sparrow. He, he was Jack the Ripper. Yeah, and it's like, so. Well, he was pursuing Jack the Ripper. It's, so it's like, so when you look at something like that, it's like, it gets back to the basics. And it's like, so I feel like people lean so much to effects or to the names of the actors. And actresses in the film or they throw a whole lot of money into like making something look nice but it's like uh, they're like some of my favorite movies i'm pretty sure they didn't spend a whole lot of money yeah. like fruitville station mm -hmm. fruit valley 
Fruit Valley, whatever it was. <laughs> Fruit, shout out to um, my, my, my Michael my, B. Jordan. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan. That's my second cousin. So it's like, so. Not your cousin. He is. So <laughs> <laughs> when I get famous, you're going to be my cousin. That's yeah. fine. Uh-oh. Hey, cousin. Shut the hell up. Anyway, <laughs> and so <laughs> that movie was powerful. It was. It was. Pretty sure it didn't cost a whole lot of money. Yeah, I don't think they, they spent too much on that at all. Because yeah, that was a yeah, that was a Sundance film, wasn't it, or an indie film? Uh, uh, it was an indie film. Yeah, so, it was it was very good, very very provocative. Oh, Slumdog! I know they didn't spend a whole lot of money to make Slumdog. No, they might have spent a couple pennies. On they did not. But it was they very did. very good. Yeah, they, I know they didn't spend as much money they made uh, Titanic, and that was a trash ass yeah. movie. I'm a, I'm a challenge you to find those facts, but mm, I understand. Yeah, but, Maybe it just wasn't the best use of money. How about that? Man, listen, we could have did that on Spirit and Off. We, we could have got on the um. <laughs> we can got on the. We could have got on the um the same boat that uh. Yep. That Gilligan got on and did and did the same thing. From Gilligan's Island. We could have got on that same boat. Some of our viewers don't know what you're referring to. The though. movie star. Or the love boat. Uh, but we could. Hey, we could have did that. <laughs> What's what you talk? Home the love. I'm telling you, we could have did that. Did you actually wear that on set? Your director's hat there? Once. Once? Yeah. You got a flex on. I know how to slap that mouth. Oh. In real time, this could have came up. Damn. That was not nice. You wear, your, you wear your paraphernalia, you can wear hair. But I would have just did it. I think it would have even been for no disrespect. It would have just been to slap mm-hmm. off his koofy. Because it's one of my favorite lyrics. See, I'm about to um, give me a hat to say, um, Fib Nudge, you know. That'd be lit. And on, on the back, you can, you can say, um, F and F. All right, you know what? And I'm going to get me a hat that says, um, um, cut the check. And, me, uh, and on the back, it's going to say, hashtag, James is broke as a mo- as a mofo <laughs> yeah, on the that's back. That's a lot for a hashtag. Hey, what it is. Hashtag, well, cut the check. Well, I'm, I'm going to get a shirt that says, um, hashtag, uh, David, not from the group home. Not from the group home. Interesting. And I'm going to get a shirt that says hashtag James from the Sane Asylum. Sane Asylum, God. No. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get um, uh, a shirt that says hashtag David, my roommate. I'm going to get a shirt that says uh, your favorite MUA. I'm going to get a shirt. <laughs> I'm going to get a shirt that says hashtag James need to foot up his ass. Again, really long hashtags, man. Oh, I'm going to say it says, hashtag your mama. Mm-hmm. Just My bad. <laughs> 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 Look, that's going to be a new hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag, I want to say your mama, but that's going to be a new hashtag. That t-shirt going to see a million. That's what I tell you. That's what I'm saying. Wait. Tell me. Yeah, hashtag, I wasn't the only one on the short bus. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Hashtag, I wasn't the only one on the short bus. Hashtag James was licking the windows on the short bus. He was licking the window. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Devin's going to hell. Well, that part. Hashtag James is going to be in, in the front of first class. First class seat to hell. Well, this is first class. You know? hey, that's fine. <laughs> Perspective. <The> same destination. <laughs> Perspective, same y'all. Destination. You're going to go. You're about to go in style. Man, listen. I can't. Don't get down there. Nah, y'all can't come down out here. You two, <laughs> yeah, separate. Nah, uh, separate parts uh, of him. Nah. Uh, go ahead. Send them back to limbo. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit like, man, look, we just going to send y'all back to North. That's purgatory. Anyway. <laughs> oh, no. It's purgatory anyway. We're back here? Feather and Finn, is that you? Oh, <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> <laughs> Green uh, but um, Saturday we, we had to cut this. Uh, Good time. Yeah, I, 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 I wasn't short, but it's, it's been two hours, so it's definitely not short. I, I want to <laughs> say this though. So usually this is the moment where he like, well, uh, when we got on this on this movie, what would you rate it from? From what? What? A dollar to fifteen. A dollar to fifteen. So look, right. So somewhere in the comments below, if you watch this whole podcast. Just rate how much you think oh of his black ass from what? two nickels <laughs> <laughs> to to a bus transfer. A it, bus transfer. And so it just and you know when it comes to you, your boy, you know what I'm saying we we going we 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 only doing you know from we we doing from from an Andrew Jackson. 
to to a C note. You know what I mean? So, to a C note. You know, Christina, we can give her the 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 the. the, the. What you gonna say, sir? So yeah, so look, right? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, the disrespect of it all. Nah, tell tell tell, tell us what you think. You know, if you want to know anything. You know about about you know personal life. You know, I, I I I'm gonna start I'm gonna start starting this podcast off with stories of of of, of from of my cousin. I'm gonna write some things down. Who who is this? Guy? Oh, James. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell some see. I ain't know James used to chew on crayons. Chew on crayons. Yeah. For the waxy goodness. Yeah. And yet you were gonna trip us. You, know? you 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 were sitting you were sitting a couple joints up there. In front of me. Well, at least I was sniffing Marcus. Sniff, sniff. I had, I had the scented Marcus. I used to sniff them jokes all the damn time. You came through sniff. You know and, why? And the Emma Came through sniff. Why are you looking? Why are you making that face like you just made a discovery? Because that's how they were trying to get you hooked on cocaine and stuff like that. With Marcus? Was the scented Marcus? It was scented Marcus for your entertainment. It was scented Marcus so you could sniff on them. Only well, I will say them. in defense, if he was, you ain't sniff on the scented Marcus. If he was really I was small enough. Eating yeah. crayons, I feel like we were predisposed to do that too. With all those wax, that's why he's immune to coronavirus because he because he's eating crayons. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's immune. Oh, you see, thank you. You see, you see, everybody always be thinking I'm a sip. You see, and, ooh, you know what? And why he gonna try to edit this out the video? <laughs> he, he called me an N word, y'all. He, he, he called me the dirty N word and he didn't call me nice. He didn't call me, he didn't call me neopone. He didn't call me. I'm sorry, what's a neopone? I don't know, but okay. it, 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 he didn't call me none of that. He, he called me, he called me the N word. It, 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 Norwal. It, he, he didn't call me no damn Norwal. I'm just thinking of N word. He didn't call me Norfolk, no Norfolk State. He didn't call well, me. Well, Norfolk is cold for, you know. Yeah, we're gonna keep talking about the group home like that. But but Norfolk in Latin is the home of the N word. I looked it up. I, don't I think did that's research. True. Um, I, um, I prayed about it. You it do came know the people have vision. Google. That's all I'm gonna say. It, um, what? 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 Oh wait a minute, hit you with the with the huh? Your mama. <laughs> Disrespect. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was good for today's podcast. Uh, thanks for. Getting to know you. Yes, getting to know us. Even though we kind of diverge into talk about movies and anime, but you know that's still all good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but as always, you can subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. You know, the link and is gonna be somewhere right here. They should put it over here. Ding. Yeah, it could be probably right on right Devin's over face. his face. Right, well, that's right, fine. Right face. The whole video. That's well, fine. I'm putting that, that, the whole video. That's perfectly <laughs> fine. That's perfectly fine. Because if you want to find James, you can probably find him in a Lim. Once they catch up with his warrants, they yes for his for arrest. For those who aren't familiar with 811, that's the uh, Norfolk City Jail. Yeah. And if I, get, if I go to jail, I'll always say it. They would come with me. Well. I'm, I'm, no, I'm on the whistle. I'm 690. <laughs> He gonna hit the cash. He gonna hit the cash. Mr. Mike took cash. He gonna hit the cash. It's a thing. <laughs> I know where he's work. I know where he be at. I know. <laughs> he's going to the cat. What do you want? I got him. <laughs> what you need to do? I write it out nice and neat. They're going to kick us out the court because we're just going to be telling on each other. going to be like, yeah. no, nah, nah, he showed my shoe strings out my BK British Knights. When we yeah. was five, and, yeah. and nah, yeah. nah, yeah. Like, hold on, I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you some stuff. He's my and, and look, 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 he, he, he tried to super glue my kneecaps together while I was asleep one time before, so that I'll fall flat on my face. Your kneecaps together? Yeah, he tried, he tried to do it with the Elmer's glue, but it wasn't strong enough. He raised my Pokemon file. He, um, he, you know what, he, um, <laughs> He put a scratch. He put a scratch on my on, on my twisted metal. No, he deleted all the memory off my, off my memory card on the PS One. That's what he did. That, that's what he did. That's what, that's what he did. You know, I tried to he pull. He scuffed my Pumas. Ooh. What? Man, he stepped on my Jordans. Ooh. He stepped on my DCs. A white DCs. My forces. Ooh, not the white ones. They were black. Well, I mean, so, I, so you're not denying look, look, that you look, did. Look, okay, look, 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 look. This is what yeah. he did. His feet so black. He what? just put a white ashy check mark on the side of his feet, and you yeah. thought they were Jordan. You know what I mean? 
he, t- he told he stole my fruit snacks, you know, in the first grade. Jay yeah. used to bully me for my size of pizza, the one the square pizzas with the with the um with the cube pepperonis that the they used to do that. Pepperoni. He used to steal she used to steal my chocolate milk. Um, <laughs> so you just hurting at lunchtime. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know. Well, they would stole my my honey buns, you know, you know the like the yeah. icings. That's disgusting. Honey buns? Ew. James, James used to cough on my potato chips and then, then take them to eat them because <laughs> he knew I didn't want to catch whatever he had. <laughs> you know. But well, you're immune though, right? Immune to what? From the virus. <laughs> you're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, perspective. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I tried to can, but I can't. James, James told me one time I was so fat I need to start drinking diet water. Diet? So, <laughs> Half the calories of regular water. <laughs> I can't. Uh, anyways, you, know, you can follow us on our social media accounts. It will be on Twitter below, but y'all can shout them out. Oh, so Tina... Uh, top model Tina for my model page and Tina's touch underscore M U A. This is all on Instagram and of course Tina's touch on Facebook and Christina C Connor on Facebook. And you know where you can find America's favorite play cousin and that all you gotta do is you, 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 you can you shut the hell up. You can uh, <laughs> you got paid my child support this month. So uh, so you can <laughs> oh my I'm working God. on it. so <laughs> that <laughs> So so y'all y'all can catch me at Big Dev underscore comedy on Instagram. And y'all can catch me at Big Dev Comedy on 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 Facebook. Or you can look me up by my government name, Devin Roberts. You know, you know, um you can look you can um you can find James on, on the FBI most wanted list. <laughs> you can um you can find him on the um Norfolk Public School Library most wanted list because he Not still got he still got a geometry book he ain't turned oh, in from 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 tenth grade. Oh, 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 oh. oh I, I didn't know you go to the library, huh? I didn't know you read. So, <laughs> you, you, so look right. The thing is, though, you How see, did James it? didn't go because he 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 stu- he he didn't finish hooked on phonics. I went. I might have struggled with reading, but they had picture books for a joker like me. So, ooh, and they had coloring books you could rent, but y'all ain't know that. You know that too. Huh? You, how do you rent a coloring book? You see, you, you rent it, but you, you, you can only use it one time. Mm. Yeah. You, you throw that too, huh? Huh? Oh, I, oh, I, I suck that coloring. I tell you no lie. <laughs> I tell you no lie. I couldn't stay in the lines worth, worth, worth a damn. Worth a, worth a damn. Worth a damn. Worth a. Worth a is a, is a Norfolk. <laughs> Is like, a Norfolk word word for like the education you have? Yeah, look, look, don't talk about my Norfolk public school <laughs> education. Shout out to TCC, which is 13th grade for 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 anybody <laughs> <laughs> that went to school in this. Area. He said 13th grade. Yeah, that's all it is. It's extended like high it. school. That's all it is, man. Y'all know oh tell the God. truth. That's how y'all laugh. High school the extended version. <laughs>